Where's the chat? There's the chat. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. I uh, hope you're all well. Good to see you. Where those two weeks go? Can anyone explain to me where those two weeks have gone? They've gone so fast. It's very new Christmas. Hello to Bonsai Monster. Hello to Bonsai. Good to see you. David Jensen. Hello to Quagers. Hello to Max Levin. Good to see you, all of you. Jasper's leaving. He's, he knows what's he knows what's going to happen. Andy Brian, hello everybody, and hello to Michael Jensen, good to see you, hello Heath, a cold evening all, yes it very is very cold round here, hello to Michael Cartney, good evening, and Gels, good to see you buddy, Robert Gray, how you doing, how's the leg, how you been, how you doing, hope you're well, uh, just trying to fix something for your son, not a problem at all, no worries at all, hello to Daz, good to see you Daz, Opto Epsic, good to see you, hello to Boulder Dash, hello to Australia, Boulder Dash at 6.64, what time is it where you are now? I would take a guess, but I'll probably get it really utterly, completely, utterly wrong. How to speed this house Amiga? Who is playing today? Going to be lurking until second half finish. No problem at all. I have to admit, I've not seen one single minute of football. Well, I've played a lot of football. It's crazy, isn't it? Lord Infinity, hello. Good evening, everyone. Hello to, hello to Joachim. Hello to Finman Channel. Hope you're well. Good to see you. Sean P. Hello, everybody. Lurking, no wise at all. Bonsai Monster. Did I say Monster or Master? We'll do it again, shall we? Hello to Bonsai Master. David Jensen, good to see you. Real CG4, yes, I'm using my original CG4 today. So, we might use the occasional cassettes today, but anyway, it's not gonna load. I've gotta let Jasper out. He, hang on, I've gotta let the cat out, hold on a minute. Oh dear, all the I've got to open the back door to get back in. Of all the times, of all the times, my lord, like where was I? I don't know. Hello! Greg, uh, just Bryant to his house, he's managed to lose his Nintendo Switch account. My lord, that's crazy. Um, yes, who's playing? Argentina vs Netherlands, okay, gotcha. That's gonna be a different one to call, I reckon, that one. It's 7, my lord, 7.04 a.m. Appreciate you being here, buddy. Eating your breakfast? Fantastic. England tomorrow? Yes, hello, Colin, good to see you. Um, Mano, let's go, good to see you, buddy. All good here, hope you and Jasper as well. Well, Jasper's just, just gone outside, he's gonna look at your by the time he gets back in. It's absolutely freezing here. I'm not a monster, he's not, he's an awesome dude. Zelda Wing, yes. Quite a lot of shoot marks on today's list. Uh, but yes, I've got the box version here. I'm gonna try and get past the level that keeps on getting me, which is level four. But yes, because I'm using a original C64 this time, I can actually use this bad boy, the ultimate joystick, the zip stick. So, we'll go for some shoot marks. But anyways, go through the list here. But yes, hope you're well, uh, Colin, good to see you, buddy. He's not a monster, he's not a monster. Only see you on screen. Duck Hunt on CG4, it is. Unfortunately, no gun. I did try, but unfortunately, my Defender 64, it won't work. It will register on the screen, but it won't move around. So unfortunately, I haven't got the right gun. But I'm doing my bit for the creators. Um, so anyway, I.O. Got a case version here somewhere. It's brutal, only four levels, we get another try with a zip stick, let's see how we do. Trojan Warrior, one of my favourite games of all time, on the CG4. Uh, gonna play that as well, maybe get a long play. Denaris is a fantastic game, don't use real gun, no. Paperboy, if, uh, um... Uh, yes, um, Craggle, if Craggle tunes in, he's been asking about that one. Play some uh, Paperboy. Uh, Jungle Joe is a new game, we're trying out as well. Uh, for those of you who are not a fan of... Continuous music, there's one for you. Never streamed it on the CG4, Airwolf, Zeta Games on the screen. And maybe a little bit of Exploding Fist using original discs. Cassettes, Jamie. Cassettes. I don't think I've missed any. I might what I've done. Denaris, Duck Hunch, Jungle Joe. Yes, we're a bit crazy once again, it's so easy to do. Um, but yes, unfortunately, this gun does work, but not with this game. Or this well, not not the game I was gonna refer to. So we have to use a crosshair, which is why one appears on my um, thumbnail. Anyway, good to see you, buddy. So I'm jibber jabbing here. How are you doing? I really need to put that in my cup of tea. Um, yes, duck hunt, but no gun, just a crosshair. But the rules are the same. As Nez, you must shoot the ducks. 
What a cool game, actually, isn't it? If only you put it on the glass. Jamie, what are you doing there? Get with it, buddy. Uh, Sadie here. I said that is your... What's some head of time to us here? Currently, well, don't you, well you know what time it is. I've started. Cool. <laughs> 11 past 8 on Friday. Right. Sorry about that. A bit gobbledygook. But anyway, Zeta Wing. Yes. Who has played this and who has the box version? Who has finished it? I'm going to go for the medium difficulty. Now, of course, seeing Sarah Jane Avery was very kind in these games, they now didn't have the auto, auto fire, which is F4. One, sorry, F1. LucasAid, it is LucasAid. Bit tired, buddy. LucasAid energy, yes. It is energy, yes. All these games we've got to play today, yes. So F1, four, or if I would go for normal difficulty, I have defeated it on easy, but not on normal. My lord, my lord, my lord. Uh, I am not in the bedroom, I am still in the living room. I haven't ordered my new chair yet, but I'm going to give it one more wait and see how we do financially, and I'll go for it. Because of Christmas, I want to make sure I've got money in the bank account to get people's presents. But yes, I just want to make sure I'm not giving myself a financial difficulty I shouldn't do, but because my £75 chair wasn't the right one for me, I'm going to go in a bit more higher than that. Maybe about £100, maybe. But if it's going to be the first one, it's going to be the right one for me. I've got to try and make sure it's the right one for me. Anyway, enough Super Jabba. Uh, Super Jamie, yes, not quite. No cape. Oh, right, look, look more like Red Riding Hood than Superman, don't I? But anyway, yes, I've got four layers on. It's absolutely freezing. And of course, you know me well, I'm not great with the cold. But we're all in the same boat. But I try and do what we can do. But yeah, unfortunately, no radiators. I'm not using my heater. So the only way of doing it is by using multiple layers of clothing. So, let's fire up this game. Like I say, using my original 64. And using the zipstick. Have you looked into secret lab chairs? No, I haven't. Only on Amazon. Uh, but of course, I need to look around. I have got a heater, but I'm using this small amount, basically. Trying to save your Wonga, you know what I mean? <laughs> Again, we're all in the same boat. That's a very, very small screen. My lord, look at that. But yes, uh, hopefully, most of these are going to have. Oh my lord, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. How is everyone, by the way? How are you been? How are you all doing? Got so much going on here, it's ridiculous. Where is my... Where is it? There's the old guard. So there you are, little bad boy. There you are. So let's use the shift key and stretch that. Where's the music gone? There should be music here. <coughs> I have. There's one here. Yes, it's here. Yes. Fresh cold days, I'd say, is a must. Only in short amounts. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Michael McCartney, good to see you, though. They are expensive, but good. Exactly. We'll go with that for now. Uh, don't mind mild day. No, if it's a... Well, lately, we've had a minus five this morning and a minus four yesterday. But happy on early, of course. So, of course, when I'm at work, the heater is turned off. It should be. But yes, I am using it sometimes, but not very much at all. Rusty James, how you doing, Rusty James? How you been? How you doing, buddy? Good to see you from you yesterday. Hope you're well. There might be a few PvP today. Yes. Now there was going to be a slight chance. I was going to use the C64 Maxi as well because there's another game which I bought today as a box version. But fortunately, I'm assuming this C64 has not got enough memory to do it. So I was going to use both and switch between the two, but I thought, no, Jamie, you're giving yourself far too much to do. Plus, there's going to be so much stuff on the table, and of course, I'm working tomorrow as well. But yes, the cat is fine. He's got no issues. He's got a fur coat 24-7. He's fine. Um, but yeah, I hope you're all well. Um, Super Jamie... But no, I've not heard of that one, um, Michael McCartney. I must look into that. But yeah, hopefully next week... I will treat myself to one, but I've only got uh, two more weeks, so I'll be on my 10-day break, which I'm very much looking forward to. <sighs> what are you guys doing the weekend? What is your plans? Hope you get it soon. Also, I've been feeling a bit under the weather as well, so I've been coughing, splattering, all that sort of stuff, but anyway, we're, we're, hanging, we're hanging in there. But yeah, like I say, I need a break. We all do. Thank you very much, Andrew Dubai. I really do appreciate that. Yes, please do like the button, that'd be fantastic. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe if you want to see more of what I do. Um, but yes, if you, <laughs> if you know me very well, you know I'm a bit of a shoot up fan. And yes, quite a few on the day's list. Um, Heath, how is uh, how is Millie doing? Is, you, is he alright? How are you doing? Any more purchases? Has anyone bought anything recently? Treated themselves to something? Does anyone treat themselves before Christmas? A little tr Christmas treat for yourself? 
It can be, yes, it can be. Now, also, I was going to be using my CRT. I had it plugged in. I was ready to rock and roll with it. But unfortunately, I can't capture it. I don't have the right cables. Uh, unfortunately, this CZ4 does not have the red, white, yellow cable. Basically, composite. doesn't have it. So, there was no way of being able to do it. But I was going to try and see if there's any other gun games I could play using the Defender, but no dice. I've got to try and figure out how to capture it. I can capture it on the PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and the Amiga. No problems there. But not here. So we're using my normal TV and, of course, my usual streaming PC and my mod screen for the chat. Yes, it might have a slight issue. I hope it's not too bad. But yes, we do have a bit of parallax, don't we? But yes, it's not all like that. Uh, bought some Resident Evil games, that sounds good to me, Russell James. Uh, I've still not played through the remakes. There's so many remakes, I haven't played through them yet. Very rarely do I play any modern games these days. Uh, but yeah, Michael McCartney, hope you're well too. Hope you're well, good to see you. How's life treating you? Well, I hope. Now this game, I'll try and remember. Uh, of course, you do get upgrades, but you've got to try and pick up a certain quantity of P icons, pitch 12. It tells you on the bottom left corner of the screen. It's quite small, but yes, you do lose one skill when you die. But this game, you don't get very many upgrades. I mean, you do get there eventually, but it's extremely slow. But most of the boosts go in a forward direction. Yes, it might be a bit stronger, but you want something with a little more diagonal range, something like that. That's the only thing I want to change about this game. Apart from that, it's a f the game is flawless. That is the sound of a additional life, which is also very generous as well. <sighs> right, now I have streamed this quite recently actually, but that was on the maxi. Let's see what we do today. Good weapon already? Yes, I've never actually managed to fully max it out. I don't think I have. Certainly not on the normal difficulty. You want to keep it going, keep it alive, I should say. I hope you were Andrew Dubai. Good to see you. <laughs> uh, gutted, your LK Limited Edition won't be here before Christmas. Oh, really? I have to admit, I know nothing about the Evercade, but of course I know there are so many people out there that like it, of course there's so many different cartridges. But it does look good from what I've seen on the internet, but of course, don't own it, whether I will I'm not sure, I don't even know how much they are. But of course, you're going to buy all the cartridges, I assume they're cartridges or CDs, I don't know what they are. It's going to be quite expensive. However, there is an IREM one I saw, which does of course grab my attention, for reasons I don't really know, need to explain, you already know. Um, join your Evercade as well. Quite a few people. Who, who has got an Evercade? Have we go. Question to the chat. I'll put another question on in a moment. <clears throat> but yes, thank you very much. Um, but yeah, who has started buying Christmas presents? Who's already put the Christmas tree up? Who's finished the Christmas shopping? Who's already wrapped their presents? Who's in the Christmas spirit? Any bar humbugs amongst you awesome people? Um, Oh yes, my yes, my purchases have arrived, uh, including my Devil's Temple, which I was hoping to unbox last stream, but of course it didn't arrive in time due to the Royal Mouse Strike. But we've got it now, and of course my Bombjet Beer Edition has also arrived. And since we've got some new Specky games, that's fantastic. And of course, Rusty James has now got himself a Specky Nex. And yes, I'm a little bit jealous, but I will be in that club later this year, probably next year now. It unfortunately, had a massive delay, didn't it? Hopefully you're enjoying it. I'm sure you are. How many has that got now? How many spectrums you got now? Is that seven now? We've been playing a few Christmas games for the Santas. My TV's going to turn itself off. You can't see. Oh, you can. That's fine. I'm safe there. Now you can only kill him when he's actually shooting. I hope you're well, Colin. How's your week's been, buddy? Good to see you. Uh, right. I'll catch up in the chat in a moment. We'll defeat the dragon. So this is where a more diagonal bullet would, would be very handy right now. Um, not happy? I'm happy, buddy. I'm very happy. I'm a happy, buddy. Um, just cold. <laughs> uh, for it's a cold day, I'd say it's a must. Been playing Christmas games. Just finished Santa's Workshop 2 or CG4. Pretty good puzzle game. Oh, really? Well, of course, I will do a CG4. Sorry, I will do a Christmas stream, which will actually be on the 23rd, which will be my final day until we break up for Christmas. And also, as additional bonus, I'm actually finishing at 12 instead of 2. So I've got a bit more time to prepare. But I'm also going out with a few friends from work, which is 
rare, I know, but it's going to be happening, but only for a few drinks, not really long period of time, so I should be back in plenty of time to get ready for the Christmas stream. I just hope there's going to be some more games this year to stream with, hopefully so. Not sure what system we're going to stream yet, I don't know, there's so many questions going on here. Um, however, I'm not giving you guys enough questions, I'm not trying to do that in the moment. I don't know if we can pause this game, I'm not sure. The next is good, 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 that's what I like to see, that's what I like to hear. How many games you've got for it? I have to admit though, I still know absolutely nothing about the Spectrum. I don't even know how to load the game, but I really am looking forward to getting it, because I'm going to find out so much about the system. Um, also, I'm using my large screen to read the chat, but it's difficult to see. We've got a bungee cord holding it in place. So I might need to do some adjustments to that. But anyway, we're starting to get some good weapons now. It's starting to go in the direction I would like it to go. But that'll change if you die. Um, but yeah, the heave, I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully the wait isn't too long. Is it expensive? Are you going to open it? <laughs> Surely you can open that one. Um, can I pause this guy? Um, hope this one's a little bit more better for you, Sean. <laughs> Uh, do not know the limited edition of Arcade? Oh my lord, I can't believe that and do this. Uh, what about that? Have you got games in mind? Suggested extra. I don't know actually. Maybe some extra slimmings. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure what system to play yet. Maybe a combination of both. I'm not sure. There are some very, very good Christmas themed games on the C4 and of course the, um, the Amiga. Now I did actually do some Google searching the other day and I just thought, are there any sort of Christmas games on the PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2? There's not many to quite honest with you. Anyway, it's going well so far. Hello to King Arthur, hello to King, hello Tom, good to see you. Oh poo! I don't believe that! It's doing so well too. Never mind, how are you doing Tom? Good to see you. Now this one you can shoot at any time, anywhere. Right. I can't see the chat there. Um, I hope we get plenty of jumpers. This weather is terrible. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Right, this is the level I'm really am struggling with. Which I'm sure those of you that have played this game probably understand. This is very difficult. It's very, very much like Gemini Wings. This one was very much inspired by Gemini Wings. We do have on the season 4 as a cassette version, not as a box version on the Mega. I have played the Mega version quite a few times. It's definitely a bullet hell, that one. The problem is, is these areas got to go through, which are very narrow, and there's normally an enemy in there who fires at you. So if you get rid of that one quickly, you should be okay. You've got to be quick about it. <clears throat> but I've had a number of attempts on the stream at this level, and I've never got past it on stream. But the first completion of normal is still on hold. At the moment, hope you're well, David Jensen. The Bonsai Master, not the Bonsai Monster. Oh, three lives remain. Again, downgrade, it's fine. Sergio and Avery is very generous in that department. Some games, it takes everything away, including the kitchen sink, not here. It is a tricky level, uh, Bobby Dash, yes. Oh, <coughs> my lord. Bubble's popped, isn't it? And again, it's popped. This is, this is bad now. We've got a big pong now, hasn't it? We do earn this real life score. Parallax is cool. We love about Parallax. If Gumdo is here, you definitely agree with you on that. Let's get to a boss battle at least. I mean, good achievement. Did you buy a box version of this and you buying? I'm sure you probably did. I'd be really surprised you didn't. Yeah, good to see you, Tom. Hope you're well. Hope your week's been alright. Or two weeks from that matter. No, no, it wasn't going anywhere. It's got me again, isn't it? Uh, graphically, this is much better. Yes, I heard about that, Manky Hobbies. Being nicked a million dollar pounds worth of units. I won't get now for Xmas, you're gutted. So, have you got any Xmas games in mind? Ooh. Suggest Christmas lemmings and later levels, not earlier ones. Good idea. It's a good idea. Good okay, game, thank you very much. You got a box version. It's fantastic. I think it's actually sold out, isn't it? Uh, it does get tricky, yeah. Yes, I'm good, buddy. I'm good. 
boiling at the moment, so I've got four layers of clothing on. Two steak streaming lights staring at me, but I didn't have any of these. I'll be freezing here. It can change like that. Also got some new Spiggy games, but saving them for Xmas Day. Fantastic. It's not too far away, is it, Mr. James? Hope your day's been more right, buddy. Hope you're... What's your plans this weekend? Um... Yeah, how much are these Evercades? I have no idea. Four games of £40? Sounds like a good one to me. That sounds very good. I find thanks Jamie for playing some Devil Temple this week. Hopefully the two-button enjoys it, which I found out. So, um, two weeks ago? Yes, that, did, that certainly did change things. I just keep thinking, why do I pick up all these weapons and nothing's happening? Christmas party! Mine is going to be... Well, I don't actually technically have one, really. But we are having a Christmas dinner on the 19th at half past 11. So, yes. Two Christmas meals in one year. It's the best meal of the year. Um, right, so... One day it will get past that. So, not to shoot us on today's list. How about we haven't put a question on the stream yet. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud, but I have to admit it does sound a little bit too quiet for my headphones. But if it's too quiet, there'll be no. Um, uh, what are your all-time top five CG4 games? Now, if you haven't played a CG4, or you don't own a CG4, or you prefer other systems, like I said, at Spectrum, for example, and Amstrad, you can say Amstrad or the Linux Spectrum is inside up to you. But what are your top five all-time CG4 games? And if Richard Warren was here, it'd be like... It's changed again. It always changes, doesn't it? It's always difficult to come up with five. We always seem to change it, don't we? What is it at the moment of time? It's two hundred pounds, yeah. Two hundred was around two hundred dollars. Uh, we haven't even got decorations yet. I've got no tree, no tree at all. I used to. It went at a tip. Right. So yes, I'm using. I don't know if I can show you. It's, it's, no, right, there's my little mini disk drive. So you put the SD card in there, and that's how we do it. But of course, I'm not expecting every game to load completely 100% perfectly today. But hopefully most of them will. But most of them I have tried, and yes. What do you see next, people? So we've got on the list, we've got I.O., Trojan Warrior, Denaris, Paperboy, Duck Hunt, Jungle Joe, Airwolf, and of course, instead of being we played, and it's Sway of an Exploding Fist, which I couldn't quite fit on the uh, post, it was too long. So, the good old combination. So, this should actually load it up. So, basically, it works like a disk drive. And, of course, I do have a disk drive. But, sometimes, it does tend to play up. But, like that. So, quick reboot. It's a mystery why it does that. I don't know why it does that. Um, Paperboy? You did some Paperboy? Absolutely so. With two games. My other was around... The Indoor u Tide Vegetation. Minus four in Lee's, Steel Ranger, Brady Witch Chronicles, I've still not played that. MW Ultra, I have played that. Tarkin 2, of course, I've played that. Splatoon, amazing, 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 amazing music, of course. Brutal though, isn't it? A brutal game. There you go, it's weird. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Doing okay, just sat down, been a busy day. Well, hopefully you are chilling now, Mr. King Arthur. Good to see you. Now, most of them, well, of course, load like a disk drive, so not quite as long as cassettes. But some of the cassettes weren't actually that long. Some of them were actually quite short. Some of them were, of course, r ridiculously long. Like the ones like R-Type, for example, Slimy's Mine was very long as well. Uh, Wolfie. Wolfie? What's Wolfie? What's Wolfie? <laughs> um, Paradoid... Boulder Dash, Henry's, oh, Henry's House, it's a classic, one of my favourites as well, I do have a cassette version of that, so we'll go to some Paperboy, why not? Sleepers Quest, Creatures, Token, Steel Ranger, Wasteland, why well, keep forgetting to do, Jamie, put some music while we're doing this. Yes. Uh, Airwolf, is this an Airwolf? Yes. Right here, somewhere, somewhere. This is the programme? Years though. Um, right, so the Paperboy, which should work. I tested it the other day. Uh, Flimmer's Quest is amazing, the Creatures is amazing, Tolkien is amazing, Steel Ranger is amazing. I bought that from last year. Wasteland, I'm not sure what Wasteland is, but I'm sure it's probably amazing. Paperboy, this one has got great sound. Great track. Yes, yeah, got some background music, of course, this bit is not happening here. Loading of the games, of course, no one's being played, but of course, yes. A lot of these games have amazing intro sequences, 
crack screen course. It's fantastic. Uh, Commando MW Ultra, which I think you've still got. You've got a box version, have you? Engine Lights, Hurricane 2, is that? I can't see. Uh, Enforcer is amazing, oh, and so is the Enforcer and Seven Wing. Power Droid, I've played it, but not been good at the game, though. Um, still Ranger, you've got that. I was tempted by a box version of MW Ultra, I think it round to end, it made the time. I hope you had a great time at the party, uh, Mr. Master Jane. It's fantastic. Don't drink too much! Don't drink too much. And I think there is a certain football game tomorrow. There is, apparently, there is an England game playing. It's France. So it's going to be England versus... Pigaboo, I see you. Nebshire of France. So yes, that's going to be a difficult one. Um, I don't know which way that could go. That could go either way. I think that's going to be won by a single goal. It's going to be like a 2-1 or a 1-0 or 3-2. Or even the penalty. I'm not surprised in England. But yes, of course, it's happening at a very strange time of year this time. But I haven't watched any of it. Oh, is that bad? Probably is. Sid Forever, I love it, yeah. Wait, is an old RPG like Fallout versions of Ultima. That'd be interesting though, because I'm not a fan of RPGs. That and Dungeon Crawlers. I was also going to try and play the Eye of the Beholder, even though I'm not a fan of Dungeon Crawlers, but this CD4 wasn't quite up to the challenge. I think my CD, CD4 needs a bit more memory. So one thing I must do is member, we don't have two soundtracks happening over the top of each other. Is it good by the way? Is it good? Does it have all the levels like the Amiga version does? Um, but yeah, I know you're a big fan of them, aren't you? Can't go wrong with these crack screens. Okay, proudly presents Remember, Pooh Boy and High Score Saver 1986 Elite Systems. And I have got two versions of this. One was donated by amazing dude, Mr. Russell James, and the other one I bought from a shop. It's on the shelf. Both of them are on the shelf. No, it's not. It's here. There's one of them. It's, it's a fantastic game. I love it. It's an awesome port, is it? I, w I was going to give it a try. There was also another game I was going to try as well, but again, it wouldn't play. Frustrating, but there we go. It's original hardware, nevertheless, and I love it. Um, yeah, Commandos is a classic. Cannot go wrong with that. Of course, the original game on the CD4 only had three levels, and of course, the arcade version came out. It was... Just like the arcade version and all the levels, it's a lot better. And of course, it doesn't have the pixel sprites flickering as well. Also, I have had a few issues recently with my internet. So there might be the occasional time where you might lose the connection, but it does rejoin itself quite quickly. But yeah, it goes for its moments, has its moments. Maybe it's the cold, I don't know. But if it happens, it might happen. You just bought a CG4 cartridge for your Evercade, my original one. Oh right, the CD4 on the other cave, that sounds cool. I like that a lot, I do. <laughs> yeah, Andrew Stabai, did you ever finish the Amiga version of Ida Holder? Or was that a silly question? Probably half of you. Right, going to go for the High School Saver, Paper Boy. High School or Trainers, we don't use Trainers as channels. So we we'll go for High Score, we we'll go for Start Game. Cue the game. How many games does it, does it tell you roughly how many are on each cartridge? So it is a cartridge. Right, okay. It's a handheld, right? Right, okay. Is the sound levels okay? Let me know if it's not. <laughs> uh, Elgato. I do like this, I do like the Amiga version as well. Oh, well, I've been using it quite some time, uh, Max Levin, but yeah, I do like it. I've not been on there recently. Sometimes I spend a little bit more, I spend a little bit too much time on there. Um, but yeah, I'm, I've not been on there for a while. But yeah, I love it. It's amazing. It's John doing an amazing thing for the new community. It's amazing. And hello to Dick Williams. Good to see you. How you doing? Even all, and hello to you. And yeah, it's good to see you on there, Max. I don't use Twitch very often. I have to admit. Right, let's see how we do today. It's Monday. It's not. It's Friday. But there we go. Do you have that question? Uh, right. right, so it's up to accelerate. We've got issues with this as well, but if he just stays at this pace, we should be okay. I need an assistant, guys. I need an assistant. Someone do this for me. Look at him going. Look at him going. 
We're not going in this case. We're going to fly off like E.T. in this speed, are we? No, I've got to press up. <laughs> up to accelerate, down to brake. Um, but yes, played the Mega version a lot more. And of course, I have played the arcade version. It's also on quite a lot of compilations. Uh, on the PlayStation 2, which of course I've mentioned, which is the Midway Arcade Classics. Features of that. There you go, it's a little better, isn't it? But yes, if you get it too perfect, you get the maximum score. And of course, you do have limited amounts of newspapers as well. And of course, has little plenty. Like, drain covers. Dogs! Cats! And of course, cars. That's a very small screen, isn't it? I can't remember if you earn additional last of score, though. But of course, you want to try and keep everyone happy. If they're not happy, they're going to unsubscribe. Unsubscribe, you've got less work to do. If you do the perfect round, you earn more subscribers, you've got more to do. More to do, more points. Um, you played the Atari version a lot. I've never seen or played the Atari version. Is that Atari ST, is it? Never, ever, 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 ever played an Atari ST. I don't think I've ever actually even seen one. Not a, a proper, a proper machine. You just seen the Argos book back in the day. Even at, even at expos, you very rarely see Amiga ones. You see CG4s there quite a lot, but yeah, don't tend to see Atari STs. It's always Segas and Nintendos and Neo Geos, that sort of thing, isn't it? Fantastic, yes. I hope you had a good time at that, by the way, uh, Mr. James. Were there many arcades there? Roughly, was there 50? 25? Ish? <laughs> right, bonus stage. Okay. Now, also, I did like Paperweight 2 as well. On the Amiga. A little bit more slow pace on the Amiga. I do like it. 50 to 50. What about pinball machines? Can't go wrong with pinball machines. Have you got a favourite arcade machine, um, Rusty James? And was it there? <laughs> a lot of questions though. Uh, oh, the handlebar, yes, I remember that. Uh, hello to Mr. Raw, hello everybody. CG4, love today, yes. Absolutely so. Hello to Mr. Raw, hope you're well. Welcome, you awesome dude. How you been? Have you been asleep? <laughs> Uh, he's been very tired, very, very tired. He's been through a lot, Mr. Raw. And, of course, I don't want to sound like a nag, but please, please, please do rest whenever you can, buddy. You've been through a lot. Um, did you fall, did you fell for the Playboy machine? They had the arcade version of Play Expo. I don't think any cyclist in real life ever fell off going over a drain cover. Maybe. If, if it's like that and your wheel goes in like that, then yes, you, you could. My brother did float over his handlebars. He went over a brick. He hit a brick. And he went over there. And yes, he actually chipped his tooth. And uh, yes, he came home in a terrible state. So I thought, what have you done to yourself? Yeah, he, was it a stone or rock? I think it was a brick, actually. But yeah, it threw him over the handlebars. And he landed on his chin. His chinny chin chin. But yes, of course, yes, some things in this game, yeah, wouldn't quite be 100%. Yes, you could go over, you probably could go and drink cover and you wouldn't flip over your handlebars. And you're not going to see tyres just moving down the street. But there we go. It's certainly not as many hazards in this one as it is in the second one. But it is good though. Such a visual game. Not, but I'm tired. Thanks, Jamie. You are awesome. Same back to you, Mr. Moore. So who had a BMX bike or mountain bike? Do you still have it? Do you still have it one from your young days? Hope you're well, Mr. Raw. You've only missed one question so far. I only missed one game, but unfortunately, Evil Level 4 got me again. Um, I've said a wing. The only question you've missed so far is what are your top five C64 games? So one more go at this. What's your plans this weekend? Hope you're well and happy. Mr. Mr. Brian. Uh, probably explains why I am two sandwiches short of a picnic. No, you're not. You're an awesome dude. How is D? D all right? Got a keyboard. You're using it like that. Right, Jamie, do you not think you're... You want to be a mech? A be a mech? Me too. Yes, I had a be... Yes, that's right. I had a be a mech bike at my dad's house and a mountain bike at my mum's house. Me and Bella got our... Mountain bikes, same same Christmas. 
It's not the sort of easy thing to store, is it? Without us realising it. No, it was. A grifter? Don't look at him a grifter. Yes, top five seems to games to score. And yes, one, two, three, and four is always the easiest one to do. It's the fifth one that's most difficult, isn't it? However, I haven't told you mine, have I? Um, R type, of course. Bruce Lee, I'd say. Trojan Warrior. Uh, I do like um, Beachhead 2. Uh, see, I'm doing it already, Mr. War. The fifth one. Do you like Manic Minor? Um, Dark Fusion is fantastic. Zynapse. Zynapse is right up there. Denaris, Catechus. I'm going to put Zynapse. Played that more. Jet Set is fantastic, yes. Difficult though, isn't it? A long game though. I've always preferred Manic Miner, Jet Set Weird. The reason why that's the case, even though, of course, Jet Set Weird is a much larger game, there's more to do in that game, but I played Manic Miner first. Right, not a good start. No, it's fine, made up for it. Took me three attempts to get that right. Okay. Um. Yeah, Mr. Raw, we're using the original CD4 today, not Maxis or Minis, nothing like that. So using my mini disk drive. So yes, we're loading games in a slightly different way today. So of course, some of the games will take a little bit longer to load. But that's retro for you. That's a nostalgia, we love that. Hello to fake user, good to see you. Yo bros, hi Jamie, good to see you buddy, how you doing? And Kai G, hello to uh, Belgium, good to see you buddy, hope you're well. Did you actually watch the football video, or would you like to... No, I'm not watching that, I will not put myself in this pain. <laughs> I was, that was quite mean to me, wasn't it? But yes, it's crazy, isn't it? I'm not actually a football fan, it's just football games I love. But thank you to all those that watched it. Hello, Dwight Cullinan, good to see you, buddy. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're well. I'm sure you all know this game. This is Game Boy. Hello to Bam. Bam, 1200. Good to see you, buddy. Uh, when I played Paperboy, I tried to destroy everything with newspapers. Well, apparently, that's what you're supposed to do. The houses that are not subscribed to you, you're supposed to just demolish for additional points. Uh, but I don't tend to do that. I want to try and get people to subscribe by being the best paper boy I can be. But yes, if you're, you're supposed to actually sh smash their windows, not over their weenie bins, and destroy their plant pots. That's what you're supposed to do. But yes, there are times why I go a bit extreme. And on Paperboy 2, there's a lot more things you can interact with. Uh, the guy that's fixing his car, for example, you can hit him with a paper and he gets flattened by his car, or the people on their swings. And of course, sometimes you have to save, like a, uh, a shop from getting robbed, or maybe even a, a pram going down the street. Stop that, for additional points. You don't really get that on this one. But of course, each day is going to get more difficult than the one before. I'm assuming it's just one week, but I've never actually done a full week. But I have got to level, day should we say, Saturday, on the Mega version. But yeah, good to see you, Kites is G. How's your week's been? Hope you're well. So I've not seen your latest video upload, but I will this weekend, I promise. Um, have you treated yourself to anything? Um, yes, yeah, so that, that's... Um, yes, I never played it there. That was... Um, what's his name? What's his name? Not Rick Mao, the other one. I know you mean, though. Yes. Edmondson. Eric Edmondson, isn't it? Saint Edmondson. Yes, that's the one. Yeah, never played it, though. A friend had made minor and Jet Set Weed on the Specky, and how do you complete... <laughs> I have finished, uh, Manic Miner, not finished Jet Set Willy. BMX as a kid, spiny to ride around in, high kites, my top... Yes, what's yours, Mr. War? Had a relay, chopper, loved it. Uh, good, yeah, good to see you, Bam, nice to see you. Thank you, Andrew Spine, I appreciate that. Yes, I've never actually played it before. Um, yellow and blue with the oh, classic. Yes, yes. So good, wasn't it? Can you remember how many gears your first mountain bike had? I think my mum was about eight, my brother was about twelve, something like that. Of course, BMX didn't start all together. But yes, that's a, that's a classic look, isn't it? Yellow and blue. Yeah, I've got a mountain bike now, but I have to admit, I don't use it very often. I should do. I know I should. Tires just come out of nowhere. 
finish song reminds me of the Yuno Tanaparu theme. I have not pronounced that correctly. Uh, what do you think of it? Uh, Mr. Raw, The Last Ninja 2, John Assisted, The Carving Wars, Sam Shoney, Zeta Wings. My lord, that was difficult. It always is, isn't it? <laughs> you done well there. You done well there. Um. Yeah, a bit of a mixed bag that one, isn't it? Got some shoot ups in there, got some new games in there, got some platformer games in there. I think that's the way to do it. Oh, Commandos, also a really, really superb one as well. That's also right up there, my favourite as well. And the music as well, amazing. Especially the high score tune, it's the best. It's fantastic. Right, where are we now? Is this, is this Tuesday? I don't know. That's a bite, I know that for sure. Um, someone nearly completed Jet Set Willy. I'm not even using that. Oh, we've got to skip the question here. Um, at the Spectrum Convention last month, with one life, but died on the last move. That is impressive. I got lost in that game, I didn't know what I was doing. I don't actually know what the actual aim of the game is, I have no idea. But of course, yes, I have finished Manic Miner, I know what to do there. Of course, the level is a lot shorter, so I'm by a single screen, but of course you have an option bar. But yeah, Jet Set Willy have so many more lives. Of course, there's so much distance to cover. But I do have it on the C4, I do. I've not played it for years, though. Right, cats and a random person. He should run off, hopefully. It's fine, top up the newspapers. Is a cat or a dog? I don't know. Yeah, I hope you had a good time. Did you treat yourself to anything, Master James? Very busy week. Black Friday. Cyber Monday. And Xmas, of course. Fast approaching, isn't it? Yeah, good to see you. If there's a time, maybe play... JS... Oh, Jetson Willy! You got me for a minute there. Time limit only features on the bonus stage. Um, yeah, Max, I'm not sure what you mean that one. I've not heard that one before. I uh, use my bike, my bike steering with my body going fast, and even using handlebars, turning corners. I got really good. We of course did have our moments. Just had quite a few accidents. My first bike had stabilisers, went round a corner, and my left stabilizer snapped off, and I fell on my. But, should we say, and didn't, didn't, ride it, didn't ever ride it ever again. Right, it's actually night time. Is this Wednesday? Yeah, sleigh blows are supposed to help, but not in this case. It snapped. It wasn't a particularly big bite, wasn't particularly high anyway, but yes. One minute had four wheels, then it had three. Guys, still drilling, even though it's dark. You don't get as many cars in this one. We do get skateboarders. Is that the last life? There we go. Uh, played this game so much as a kid, but never got past Tuesday. It was Wednesday, wasn't it? Hope you get sorted with the stripe. Yes, Kite's it sheet is a postman, yes. Uh, that would be fun to watch, by the way. Jamie, you use playing, you know. I can't even pronounce that, buddy. On C4, quite a game for being made, but some fun. Busy work the week, Black Friday, Southern Fun Day, and Christmas away, many parcels. And being a postman, you've got busy time, yeah. It's crazy over here, everyone's going on strike, it's mad. Even ambulance drivers now going on strike, it's crazy, it was gone mad. I'm assuming you didn't have strikes over there in Belgium. Sensible over there. Okay, what do we see next, people? Um, Into Oblivion, Trojan Warrior, Daenerys, Duck Hunt, Jungle Joe, Airwolf, or Way of Exploding Fist. Yeah, fake user, good to see you, buddy. How you been? How you doing? Trojan Warrior, I like your style. Um, yes. Question. Jamie, put the music on the screen. You keep forgetting to do it. Um, thank you very, very much. That's very kind of you. Uh, I just saw Freehead Monkey join as well. Hello, everybody. Airwolf, we'll play some Airwolf very soon, of course. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're well. And thank you very much for the donation. Very kind of you. Superstar. It's not working again. How is Mike doing? Good to see you. 
Yes, it's one of my all time favourite games. I've finished it so many times. It's not going to be long game though. Superstar. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's not so bad now. I'm not cold anymore. I'm just boiling. Uh, but very kind of you. Thank you very much. Hope you have a good weekend, pal. And thank you for continuing support. This is not working again. And I was out Oh! I found it again, didn't I? Sorry, mate. I keep forgetting to post it. My lord. I'm getting bad at this, aren't I? I, 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 I knew I was going to... I knew I had to do it. I knew I had to do it. But you asked me to. I forgot all about it. The intro was rolling. Maybe it's a cup of tea. And I forgot all about it. Sorry, Alkenstein. Hope you are well, though. Unprofessional, really. Unprofessional. There we go. It's working this time. No worries. Who's a bit loud? No worries at all. No worries at all. And you've got two playing at the same time this time. Awesome sound. Thank you. Hello to Error 42. Just suddenly realised you might be streaming. Have I missed much? You've missed two games. You've missed Zephyr Win. And you've also missed Paper Boy. Now we're going to go for some Trojan Why not lie, if you're short of war in, unfortunately I haven't got the sound effects. And also, I don't have a box either, but it is a little game I'd like to get into the box version. Jasper, are you in the window? No, not yet. Um, this one also does play. So, I've always put it up in order. myself. Ocean Loaders is fantastic. Yeah, what's your favourite Ocean Loader? Oh, there's so many. I've also got the CD as well. Fantastic. Um, I got this originally from John Benzies. And this is basically, as you might have seen in one of my memory videos, well, basically it's been a fan of Clash of the Titans. It gives you the opportunity to be like Pegasus, the flying horse. And I love Clash of the Titans as well. Is it still too loud? Is it really? Um, yeah, good to see you, Air 42. Good to see you, buddy. Turn music down? I just did, yeah. Um, it's really that loud. Um, it's not really going down, Jamie. What's that, buddy? What's that? It's not going down, mate. What's that? Oh, is it not going down? Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. Hold on, man. I gotcha. I gotcha. Hang on, man. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. There we go. Whatever you did made no noticeable difference to music levels. Basically, I've got two files. Basically, I was turned down the wrong one. That's just bizarre, isn't it? Well, that went pear-shaped, didn't it? That went absolutely pear-shaped. Never mind, we've got some music now, hopefully. <laughs> the trouble is, one of the biggest problems is I can't hear what you're hearing. I put music on there, I can't hear it. So that is a problem. But what I would like to get in the future, I would like to get myself a stream deck. That's what I really want to get, and I hopefully have a little bit more control. But anyway, what did I miss? What did you miss? Basically, I was just talking about this game. Basically, I got it from John Menzies back in the day, and it was basically it being a fan of Castle of the Titans. It gives you the opportunity to be how it would feel like to be Pegasus, the flying horse. Much better, maybe a bit too quiet. But we're getting there. One, one stage at a time, we're getting there. So we'll just turn it up a little bit now. But anyway, I've muted it anyway, because of course the music's playing here, which is fantastic. But yeah, it's fantastic, it really is good. But Mike, good to see you. Hope you're well. You joined a bit of a difficult time there, but we got there more or less. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. The mysterious horseman who rides the wing stallion has come from another time and plays to save a princess. Always seven princesses, aren't we? Uh, whose awesome magical powers are being used against her will for the forces of evil. Only this warrior can battle through the evil. Five evil infested regions. 
Only can reach the princess, shoot creatures, and gain extra weapons. Collect fashion pods and add to your existing weapons. Enter the transport at the end of the stage and enter the time tunnel. In the time tunnel, avoid the walls. If you climb with the walls, you return to the start of the level, but you don't lose a life. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, a very expensive piece of kit, but something I want to get. That's very kind, thank you. Thank you very much. Blame balance, yes, balance. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah, and I'm, I'm still getting there, of course. I don't earn loads of money, but I'm doing what I can do. Mate, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Right, Trojan Warrior, like I say, even though you didn't hear me earlier on today, but yeah, it's one of my favourite games on the season 4. It just shoots them up once again, but we are our flying horse. Now, of course, this game, you do lose all your additional abilities. Um... It's not a bullet hell, but of course your character is quite large, but of course you do get quite a lot of life to score in this one. It's very generous this one. Thank you so much for the donations, very kind. And of course a chair, I will give myself a new chair, it's on hold, hopefully next week or so. Yeah, this one's quite a pew pew pew, isn't it, this one? But of course you do have got music, but of course not at the same time. But at the end of the stage you have to go through the time tunnel that does have music. So this one might be a little bit loud for you, I don't know, if you're really in the headphones, I warn you now, but it sounds fantastic on my headphones. So the game this, one of the best seasons, it's brilliant isn't it? It's one of those games that doesn't even mention, really. But yeah, it's just one of those games, I just saw it, I, I, it was just, I was there at the right time to see it, it grabbed my attention, the artwork is also sensational, I love it. And of course, back then, uh, games weren't really expensive, you, know, you buy a game for like £2, £3 at most. There wasn't many really expensive games, of course, when it got to like the disk drive days, and yes, it might be about 20 quid, something like that. Uh, right, question, 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 question. Question. Um, right, very small. What was the first ever game, you, this is testing your old brain boxes, this one. What was the first ever game you played which had a bonus stage, any system you like? The first game that had a bonus stage. I think it might be this one. I really do think so. I did get this one quite early on. But yeah, it does be CZ4, it could be ZX Spectrum, Amstrad, even Amiga. Entirely up to you. But the first game you play which had a bonus stage. Now, if you hit the sides, the ceilings of the stage, you go back to the start of the level you've done, you don't lose a life flow. But this game is very generous. I like you also guys are with your donations. Very, very generous of life. Samara 1 is a classic. First time I played that was on arcade, which was mentioned on one of my pickup videos. But yes, animation is fantastic. The problem is, it's that wing. That wing can cause a bit of an issue when you go through the time tunnel. Except for the people dying part. Feels a bit like Christmas is getting a little bit, yes. It's a bit of snow, yes. Max Seven, that's very kind of you. Thank you so much. Superstar. Apidia, of course. That was your first, yeah? Yeah, as again, you might see a video idea, but yes, most of those I've found on my own. It wasn't really any issues, but yeah, it was that final one which took me absolutely ages to find. I knew it existed, of course, the music's there, you can play it in the intro screen, main option screen. I just couldn't find it. And it's strange because all the other ones take place either during the boss or at the end of the boss. But yeah, where it was actually found wasn't sort of where you expect to go. The enemies were flying out of that area. But there we go, I found it now. Now the one is additional speed, two, which I haven't got any yet, is additional firepower. Three is a bouncing ball with comparable sound effects, and four is a laser. But amazingly though, I haven't got any additional weapons yet. Just additional speed. But two, the maximum hold is two, believe it or not. A little bit like the sudden SL, yeah. Right, there we go, we cook them on gas now. Um, but yeah, Mario 2 is fa Mario, Mario 2 is fantastic, and three of course, two Mario Land, maybe. I have a pink boy, of course, the bonus stage at the end. Which doesn't kill you, it's just a way of some additional points. But yes, on the CG4, I think it was this. On the Amiga. Ah, uh, that's going to be quite difficult to think of one. It might be. No, I'm really not sure at the moment, so I can really sort of seriously think about this. Of course, our type doesn't have them. Um, so 
so good. Um, Lord me, I can't remember. Maybe bubble, bubble, maybe. You can call that a, you can call that a bonus stage. Okay, boy, for you. Yes, epic sounds. Yes, epic sounds. Anyway, Mr. Raw, hope you're well, buddy. Good to see you. Always good to see you. How can Simon we do this weekend? What's your plans? Um, CJ Zero of Nantics was fantastic. I have got that as a case version as well. Difficult, though. How difficult was that game? Hope you're feeling slightly better. Uh, me? Or Mr. Raw? <laughs> uh, Super Mario Land is fantastic. Yeah, I got that. Not as a physical version, only a cartridge version, but not as a box. But yeah, there was a bit of discussion on Discord about Mario, and of course, yes, when Mario went 3D, I mean, who's a fan of 3D Mario? Who prefers the side scroller Mario? Hopefully most of you do. Right, so again, as before, go through the time tunnel, don't make contact with the tops or sides of the screen, but of course, every time you go to another one, it gets slightly faster and longer than the one before. But it is so good. On the zip stick, performing very well. Chat in a moment, but yeah, so many levels have these. Sorry, so many games have these. I'm really a fan of these. We've got an X as well, Pity as well, Armor Light. Fantastic. Give that question. Right, this is where it starts to get difficult. Now, any red birds you see, you can't kill a red bird. You can kill the purple birds and the blue birds. So those ones will go through. Um, put some music on the notes. Hopefully we're the right audio levels. Got to remember what key does it as well, because it's F3, I think. Um, yeah, did you play uh, CJ Invitations on the Amiga as well? You're quite good on the Amiga. And it's slightly further on the Amiga version than the CD version. Both brutal though, but I thought the Amiga version was a little bit more easy. Still has the difficult enemies though, those evil frogs are the worst. Even on that first level. You can die so easy on that level, you can dead with spikes. So many spikes in that game. Have you much plans? No? Ugh! Lord. Sometimes that's the best way to go. Just go with the flow. See where it takes you. Are your ears holding up? <laughs> Oh, my lord! I think speed is maxed out. Is the family alright, Mr. Raw? Everyone well? How's Oliver doing? Is he alright? Is he a good boy? Yeah, the bonus stage is fantastic. Yeah, like I say, it's fa it really is good. This is one of the first shoot mods I've played, actually. Certainly on the CG4. Um, quick snacks. Of course, I played that. Yes, I picked up for you on Amiga. I must have played boy for you. First bonus stage of Wonder Boy on the Master System is fantastic as well. What was your weekend plans? Well, I'm working tomorrow, Mr. Raw. Uh, Sunday, but we do a video, I expect. When did this game come out? Good question. Uh, I'm going to take a wild guess and say 1988. That is just a guess. Uh, it came out. Oh lord. Do you know what? I hate it when this happens. It's not on there. We'll find it at the title screen. No, it's not Crash. I haven't gone to the time tunnel yet. Doesn't say. Doesn't say, buddy. I'm going to guess, very, very late 80s. <laughs> no, it hasn't crashed. However, it might well do now because... Oh, it's fine. Because that power-up was, ho was hovering over it. I think that was going to crash there. So yeah, Mr. Sean P, you very need to predict the future. No, it's a nice thing because you can actually go in there whenever you're ready. A little breather before you go in. It's a nice touch. Because this one is, again, going to go faster. It's going to be longer. Hazards are plenty. Right. 
Crash at the moment. But yeah, that wing is a bit of an issue on here. And that's why I've been caught by the wing. The wing of death, in this case. But it doesn't kill you. But if you make contact, you go back to the level just did. But you keep your weapons, so that's an awesome thing. Whizball! Yes, I love Whizball! But yeah, this is a good better than isn't it? Yeah, it's a good shout. <laughs> never actually finished this game without dying. This is going well, though. Have I jinxed it? You never know. What is the music button? F3! There we go, we've got some music going now. This is in-game music. There you go, did I jinx it? You better believe it. Yes, I did. How far did it get to 9pm if you had a dinner yet? Who's not had dinner? I've had basically something very simple. These are the worst enemies. The trouble is they're very difficult to see. Um, I've had egg on toast. Yes, on the CRT, these are very easy to see. On my TV now, they're very difficult to not see. They're difficult to see. Did I say that right? I don't know if I did. The snake's weakness is its head. Unfortunately, you can't have music and sound effects at the same time. But music, like you said earlier today, is fantastic. No eggs in this game. No, no actually bosses in this game either. <laughs> um, but yeah, Whizball is fantastic. Who likes Whizball? Who's finished Whizball? Played it the other days, got a version back in the day, but I didn't get far back in the day, but I have got to level 3 now, I think. It took some time, I got there. But the CG4 version is definitely better than the me, or killed by a ghost again. Um, thanks for asking the girls are well, Oliver has actually been in the cold. Why do they do it? Yeah, Jasper's out there at the moment of time, it's about minus 4 out there now. Crazy. Absolutely crazy, I'm staying here in the warm. Love since. <laughs> Egg shaped bosses on toast. Why not? Why not? These are so difficult to see. Some of my inflection on the TV is making it daft difficult to see as well. Now that whist ball doesn't have a lot of bullets, but it's good for killing those little whistles on the ground. There's no eggs in the supermarket either. Oh, really? I have WizKid, yes. Got a box version of that on Amiga, yes. Never finished it though. I have got to the end, but not enough cats in your boat. The more cats you have, it's easier to get across the river. Right, maybe a bit of meal on that one, but there. I can inaccurately predict the future, you can. Uh, but yes, Mr. Roy, can we look, come in looking like a frozen popsicle when he comes in? Um, I need to work deadline, but also find some Xmas gifts. Well, Christmas is certainly a lot more easy for me now than it was back in the day. Um, I'll put another question on the moment. Give it a bit of time to hold. But yes, I've played it. Uh, not... Well, if, if there is a Whiz Ball 2, then no. But Whiz Kid, yes. Right, so take us to the final level. At the moment of time, we've got 8 lives, which is fantastic. This game also loops with its standard difficulty. No, Gumbio is not a fan of looping, is he? fan of games looping with a silly difficulty. I have to admit, I was quite tempted to play Bruce Lee today. Using set type. Trying to chat in a moment. <laughs> Stay alive. Need my horse. This one is the longest one. This is the fastest one. There we go, we're through. <clears throat> so 
So is that your favourite version, uh, Mr. Kite 6G, the Master Slim of Wonder Boy? Is that your favourite? You know mine, it's CC4. Yes, of course, Switchable Software, yes. Yeah, Wiz, Wiz Kid is so different to their usual style, isn't it? When I first played it, I did, I did actually play that one back in the day. Uh, I had no idea it was the same creators that did Sensible Soccer. Or Sensible Golf. It's completely nothing different altogether, isn't it? You do get the occasional glitches. Hopefully it won't affect this attempt. Um, Whisk Kids is... Oh, yes. Then, yes, I have then, yes. I wasn't sure if it was on the seat 4 of a different title or anything like that. But yeah, I don't 100% understand the game. I, I know what you have to do, but of course, you have to buy items, don't you? And of course, you can have areas where you've got legs and a body, and some areas you use as a normal head. But the items, I don't understand some of the items, what you need them for. I know, I know you have to get the newspaper and use the toilet, I know that one. Right, this is the final stage. No, I've not done any Christmas shopping. However, we are doing a sick Santa at work, and I have bought that person's present. Which is difficult for me, because I've only been there five months. And also, I don't know a lot about this person. Hello, Scrooge McDuck! McDuck is back in the house. It's that time of year again. Good to see you. How you been? How was your week been? It's that time of year, yes, indeed. I remember it well. There you go, Wiz Kids back in town, Wiz Ball. This is Trojan Warrior on season four. What year it came out, I don't know. Amazing, it doesn't sound on the back of the case. I'll find out in a minute. It's bugging my brain, I have to admit. I hope you're well, screws my duck. <laughs> Put a question on a minute. I thought one of my versions, I don't really know what to do. Oh, my lord, hold it. That's the only boss in this game. There you go. I uh, love one of my versions, don't really know what to, want to choose the best one. C64, Mars System, Amiga. Now, Amiga would be higher up, but of course, I haven't played it very much because they just come out. But there we go. And Jasper is now back in the room now. And there we go, completion. But when did this game come out? Does anybody know? Right, F7 to go back to the title screen. When did it come out? But yes, it's got the version here, but amazingly it doesn't say on the case when it came out. There you go, you beat me to it. You beat me to the punch, didn't you? <laughs> Fantastic. There we go, we've got a long play. Not a long play, it's more of a short play. Jasper, yes, it's amazing. He was, he, he like, when I'm, Doing videos and streams and editing in the living room. This green screen is always over the sofa, and he sleeps behind there so much time. And sometimes I can hear him snoring. It's a nice thing. And of course, when I'm in here a lot more, I do prefer it being in here than in there. Even though it's a much better setup in there, it's much more spacious. But yes, Jasper spends more time in here. I tend to see him a lot more in here. Which is good. But of course, he was there, and as soon as the stream started, and I start talking. Out he went. Out the door. Um, I wanted to get him. Well, it's highly unlikely he's watching. I got him basically, I mean, of course, phones. Everyone's got a phone. Everyone sits it in the canteen. Where's my phone? You're sitting in the canteen. Everyone's doing exactly the same thing. All doing this. There's no communication. We don't talk to people. So I thought, okay, we'll get him a stand. I've got him a stand that allows you to stand your phone up without having to use your hands. Because, of course, there's been times where he's been eating his dinner and he's trying to stand his phone up, and he can't do it, so he puts it on the table flat down. So I thought, I get him a, a phone stand, which I think is a really, really nice thing. I also get him some chocolates as well. I might make him his name out of hammer beads, just make it all nicer. 
Oh yeah, that's what I did. I think that's a good idea. So that you can eat your dinner, your phone's still up like that, you watch what you're watching, no harm done. Here we go. Trojan Warrior, we've got a long play today. And I used to get told I was being antisocial for playing video games non-stop after school. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It's Mr. Sean, of course, it's absolutely crazy. I mean, sometimes we go to the... We're, in, we're sitting in the canteen, we're talking amongst ourselves, it's great. But sometimes everyone just looks on their phones and there's no conversation. It's just like... This is good, isn't it? Nobody's talking to anyone. It was, in front, it was on their phone. But I don't tend to do it very much. I'll check my notifications, I'll see what's going on Discord, and I'll put my phone away, and I'll talk to the dudes. But yeah, sometimes it's not quite like that. And it's just... And also, it's so cold in the, in the canteen. It's unbelievable. And hello to Ox. Good to see you, buddy. How you doing? Right, uh, someone mentioned uh, Airwolf. Was it uh, Rusty James? We'll give Airwolf a little go. Why not? Very thoughtful gift. Yeah, I thought it was a good idea. We got basically it's a ten pound target. I spent ten up uh, twelve pounds. I've gone a little bit over it. Oh, that's what you meant, Wolfie. Right, I'm with you now. Gotcha. Yes, but it's difficult. It's always going to be difficult for someone that hasn't been there very long. And yes, we were going to do it originally with just four people, which makes sense. There's four people in our department. It makes sense. We all did it, and of course, my name got picked out by whoever it was, and I picked the name out of whoever it was. And it was easier because I knew these people. I know them very, very well. And we thought, well, let's get some more people involved. I'm like, no, because I don't know these people. So, yeah. I thought it was a good idea. It's very, very unlikely he's watching. Doesn't even know I have a channel. Right, we're going to go for some... Airwolf. Mr. Rusty James, have you played it? Have you finished it? It's brutal, of course. Uh, however, Jamie, you're going to go for Wolfie, aren't you? Hello to Mike, he remembered. Here he is on YouTube. Hello to Inbound Dreams, good to see you. You made it, you made it. Um, all right, Ox, good to see you. Everyone was doing that in the office the other day on dinner break, made you laugh. It's crazy, isn't it? Everyone does the same thing. It's like people crossing the road. There's cars going that way and this way and they're like this, completely and utterly bemused by what's going on in front of them. You're going to get hit by a car. Everyone's going to get hit by a car. Don't cross the road while looking at your phone. Focus on what is going on. Left, right, left again, cross, then get your phone out. It's crazy, isn't it? Anyway, Airwolf, how you doing, Mike? Both mics are here now. You done well there. Hello, to Tim Pilot, good to see you as well. Welcome to the world of YouTube Inbound Dreams. Good to see you. And, of course, I did use your outro in my disc video. I don't know if you saw it, so thank you very much. Inbound Dreams was the creator of that amazing track. Not bad, thanks. Fantastic. Saw people on the underground in Hong Kong using phones at once. There you go. Uh, play some multiplayer phone games. Yeah, I have got, amazingly, surprising, isn't it? I've got R-Type on my phone. No surprise there, is it? But yes, it's not, of course, as good as a real deal, but it's, it's the best thing I can play on my phone, of course. <laughs> How you doing, Era 42? Hope you're feeling better, buddy. Um... I've been playing video games for almost 40 years. Me too. Yes, got my 64 in 1987, and after that, I've just been a computer fan, retro gaming fan, which of course it wasn't back then, but it is now, ever since. And of course, buying games, been doing it pretty much all my life. I'm never going to stop. Never going to stop. But of course, it is certainly not as good now, because of course, they're so expensive now. But yes, for those of you who just joined in, I'm using my original C64. I'm not using my original disk drive, but I'm using the mini version, which is this. So basically, you've got the games on the SD card, and it's just basically a smaller version. It loads like a disk drive would. But I've also got my tape deck there. I might load a few games up with tapes, but while it's doing its thing, I'm putting its question on. Um... Right, we're going we're gonna, to right, do the alphabet letter, the alphabet one on this one, so... Hang on, we need, we need a letter, don't we? Hey Google. Pick a random letter. I. I. Done. Thank you. I had to mute it so it doesn't activate your phones. Right, okay, next question. 
You picked a difficult one there, didn't you? Yes, okay. Next question is, um, what are your top three Siege Ball games beginning with letter I? Good luck. How about I can think of you off the top of my head already? There we go. But yeah, blame Google for that one. She picked it. Um, thumbs up to that. It's the fault that walk with the phone out in front of them. Since when has it become so important to life? Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, good to see you, Mike. Good to see you. Of course, Sean. Yes, I'm actually watching one on eBay. I would like to get it, actually. On the eBay, of course. That was easy feeling, wasn't it? Looking forward to Trevor's Skyhawk. Helicopter looks great in that game. Man, this game is so hard. This is hard game, yeah, it is. There was a golden period ten years after Mega that released when the games were cheap. Did you buy the bunch back then? Um, yeah, I've been buying pretty much Mega games since it came out. Since 1989, I've been buying. Yeah, of course, yeah. The only time I wasn't buying Amiga games and Siege games was when I was living in Ipswich, so yes, there was quite a few years where I wasn't buying them. Yes, it is a repeated one, but however, this does not bother me in the slightest, it's fantastic. But basically, what you're going to try and do is you'll go to each of the locations. So it's in the bottom right hand corner, we've got to go to a rescue in section 1. Now you've got to do them in the right order. Now those shields on the bottom is actually your energy, you can take quite a few hits. But this game is known to be brutal, and it is. I have got to the final section, but I've never actually finished it before. But it's really, really well done. I do like it. And of course, the program used to watch it loads back in the day. We had it so good back in the day. Now, you don't get any additional weapon upgrades, but what you're trying to try and do is basically try and make it easy for yourself by clearing some of this wall. Kai Warriors and IK Plus, absolutely so. And of course, International Karate as well. Kai Warriors was good, but there's comical deaths, wasn't there? It's hard though, yeah. Right, so, first one is down here. Right, rescue number one. So you pick them up, you take them to the start. But it's not as simple as that, you've got to try and find your way back. Some doors have to be open, some doors have to be shot. Some things also is the kills. Never played Airwolf 2, actually. Now, I did play this in the other days on my disc drive, and me and brother, we've got absolutely no in this game. Now, you don't actually have a time here, of course, you have to keep your helicopter above ground. So you have to keep tapping up, otherwise it'll fall to the ground, of course. It won't be an instant kill, but take too much damage it will be. But the animation's superb, it really is good. Hello to Scott, good to see you Scott, hope you are well, good to see you. You did watch it, yeah? Uh, Indiana Jones, I do have that on the Amiga and the CD4, I do like it. The first Indiana Jones game I played was actually Temple of Doom on Arcade. Which is fantastic. Console versions, Amiga, um, computer versions, wasn't as good. Right, that's the first one. So you pick up the person, take them to the exit, which is also the start, and you go to the next area. Um, is there any Jan Jones on CD4? I believe um, Temple of Doom is on the CD4, but yes, the Last Crusade is on the CD4. I do have it up there, yes. Airwolf 2 is just ridiculous. Fighting space aliens and other silly things. I'll leave it different to this then. Quantum Leap is fantastic. Watch that well back in the day. So we go on to Sector 2. And again, rescue another person. We have a lot of uh, memory in this game. Now, unfortunately, that wall will actually reseal itself, so that's a problem. So, you've got to shoot it again. Now, if you get hit by one of these boulders, that's an instant kill, we've got full energy or not. Yeah, we had the TV back then was absolutely fantastic. The movies were great, the programs were great, the sitcoms were great, the cartoons were great, the games were great. It's just fantastic. Of course, back then, you know, programs weren't all as often, you know, it was like once a week, wasn't it? And on Christmas Day, you just get that, that one family film which everyone sort of tuned in for at the right time, it was a great thing. Right. So, let me hit 
by that. Damage is there. Right, he's down there, but we've got to go up here first. Um, that's second, isn't it? in place, but it shuts the door. I.O. we're playing that soon as well. I do have that. It's fantastic. Only four levels, but I love it. So now we've got to open the door. Like so. But sometimes the most difficult thing is getting back. Of course, when you're going back, you've already taken so much damage. Mr. Blobby! I lo oh my lord. Oh, yes. That was the weakest point. Yes. Ruined Nash um, Noah's house party. And I watched a video of him a few weeks, uh, about a month or so ago, and my opinions are still not changed, he's still annoying. And I was like, yep, that's, uh, my case is, it's answered, it, I rest my case there. Hello Pints and Amiga, hello Jack, good to see you. Hope you're both well, hope you and Taylor are right. So surprised this was not on Amiga actually. There you go, number two is done. Uh, to me, the last great batch of cartoons were Batman, Fantastic, of course, uh, and the animated series. Yeah, you just watched that on uh, Saturday morning, wasn't it? Doing good. That was an insane move. Go, 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 Jamie. I'm not feeling the Mr. Bobby love tonight. No. <laughs> I've still got the card, though. It's the best card I've got. I would never get rid of that card. It's from an awesome dude, like yourself. Right, now we go to Sector 3. Now, I've never actually finished this game before, but I'll definitely give it a run for its money. But again, you've got to follow the same rules again. You've got to shoot that, open up that, avoid the boulders, shoot the wall. And then we've got a different route this time. What's your opinions? There we go, Mr. Russell J, I'm going to put you on the spot now. What is your opinions of Mr. Blobby? You're going to say you love him, don't you? <laughs> Stupid. Stupid character! <laughs> why? 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 Just, just why? Right, there we go. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> right, shoot that. Saturday Night TV was an event, now it's forgettable. What was it like in other countries? Like Mr. Raw, for example. What was it like in Norway? In the old old days, in the, in the 90s. Was it good? Was it just as good as we had it? Um, Batman, fantastic, yeah. Of course, there's the, um, the voice actor died quite recently, didn't he? <laughs> Colin, thank you very much, appreciate that. It's not easy, I promise you though. Right, so we go down here. This way. At least the boulder, so we have to shoot that. Then we die. Did I jinx it? Yes, I did. Sounds creepy. You don't like Mr. Bobby. Well, there we go then. You <laughs> just love winding me up, don't you? There you go. You like Noah's House Party, but basically invented webcam. Jerry Beadle, yes, he's watched that quite a lot as well. One more go. Right, question. Um... No, we'll leave it, Jamie. Focus on this. Yeah, he died. He died. Yeah, very, I don't know how old he was, but he died ages ago, didn't he? I don't know what he died of, though. But yeah, Beatles About was great. Of course, Even Frame was great. I'm assuming that is still going. Of course, it's Harry Hill now, isn't it? Yeah, good to see you, Scott, by the way. Nice to see you. I like the icon. There you go. Right, down here. Pick up him. Got some smiley faces there. Sticking tongues out.
Yeah, I mean, we had Gladiators, we had You've Been Framed, we had Generation Game, Noah's House Party. Um, big Break. Of course, then you had a, a good movie on, but of course, back in the day, Saturday night was always Blockbuster Night. It wasn't Mr. Blobby, but it was the perfect night. Right, my God, it was going to happen, right? Yes, I like the Rolling Rats. I used to like Rolling Rats as well. We had three channels, but Saturdays was the big telly day. Quite a lot of Norwegian talk shows, but we had mostly American shows, series, and a lot of English detective stuff. Oh, right. We had four. Uh, BBC One, BBC Two, ITV, Meridian, it changed so many times. ITV, and of course Channel Four. Uh, Channel 5 was later introduced, but we didn't get that because, of course, we didn't have cable. We're not the only parts, anyway. And now there's so many, but are they worth watching? I don't know. I don't even a judge of that. I used to watch a lot of Challenge TV, Bravo as well. Um, Kerrang! I used to watch a lot of Kerrang! E Rock as well. Uh, what's the other one? Few music channels I should watch. Hello to Mark Gordon, good to see you, buddy. Are you working Sunday? How you been, buddy? Right. Okay, I've got a long way. It's fine. I think I'll go this way anyway. Danger Mouse, classic, yeah. I want to get it on DVD as well and get the full set. I've got the... I've got Count Duck here on DVD as well. Again, it's a classic. Uh, right. Okay. Mr. Roy, you played this one? Victor and Hugo, it's funny you say that. I was thinking about that the other day. I kept thinking, is that on DVD? Yeah, The Burglars. Fantastic. Doesn't, never really gets, you, never, you, never, you never really sort of hear from that one, do you? Yeah, that was on Channel 3 or BBC 3 or ITV 3, where it was at the time, yeah. Trapdoor, got it on DVD as well. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is Airwolf, yes. On the CD4. We're not using the full size CD4, not using the mini today, using my original CD4. And my little dish my little disc drive. I've got this on a floppy disk as well. Love it. Moon, yes, and Lady Dolls, just watch all of those. Yeah. Hello to Johnny Cribs, good to see you. Always love the music to Button Moon Bonkers program. Yes, I did, but I gave up this one. Could not move the chopper as elegant as you, Mr. Jamie. Thank you very much. How you doing, Mark? Good to see you. And Rod Hole, City, City and Sweet, yes, you like a morph? You used to watch Morph, Turning Heart. I, I commented on it the other day. You might have seen it from my posts, yeah. So watch that loads back in the day as well. 18 was course, you know, it's it's crazy. I saw the trailer like, the other day. The other day. Only the other day. Probably because I'm all in, I'm in all those groups, you know, the 80s groups. But I think 80s was 70. Was it late 70s, wasn't it? Right, number three. Oh, did you? Cinema Drawing? That's cool. 
Heart B, yeah, that's right, that's correct, well done, yes. Not heart beat, but heart beat, yes. Right, so, we have to go... Over here. Ugh. Right, shoot that. She will think yes, you should watch that as well. Yeah. That's not her, yes, we should be terrified of the, uh, the Daleks and the, um, what are they called? The, uh, the old ones. Yeah, those ones, you can't remember their names, Jamie. Yeah. Wolf Harris, yeah. I used to watch quite a lot of, um, um, is it Pet Hospital? in that, wasn't he? And of course, the drawing program, you used to watch that a lot as well. Right, shoot that. Shoot that. That's where I went wrong last time. Go back. <laughs> shoot that. Rose Cartoon, that's the one. I can't do the hand movement, I can't with this. <laughs> See you next week, yeah. Classic Doctor was fun. What's this called? The, um... Not Daleks. The other one. Um, Tom Baker. TV shows your childhood was Airwolf 18, Miami Vice, Captain Future, and Danger Mouse. Fantastic. Terror Hawks was good. Um. Yeah. Right. Third one. Here we go. Shiller Black. Blind date. Surprise, surprise. And of course, remember the episode of Comic Relief, Mr. Bean on Blind Date, that was good as well. Street Hawk, yes, Night Rider, yeah. Classics. Didn't we have it so good, didn't we? Sport for choice, of course, Red Dwarf as well. Can't go wrong with Red Dwarf. Dungeon Dragons. Ah! So many good ones, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Mask, of course, had that on VHS. Centurions, no, no, I'm not sure on that one, of course. Nightmare. Super Grand, yes, we should watch that as well. Goodies, yeah. We had a SF series called Xenon. I like the sound of that. Flight of the Dragons, Love Dungeon Dragons, me too. We used to have a sticker album of that. Six Minute Dollar Man, yeah. <laughs> Everything was good. Everything was good. Right, Sector 4. Uh, so, we have to go... Same thing, I think. And of course, all those. All those. Crystal Maze, Games Master. Can I go wrong with those? Funhouse. Yep. And also, Finders Keepers was good as well. 18 Chips, Dukes of Hazard as well. Full Guy, yep. <laughs> right, so, we have to go. Third entry. Find this game is your favourite, yeah. Wreck your house! You can't 
can't at home, but you can on that program. Do what we can do, but you can't do at home. Lord of Beans cartoon. Lord of Beans cartoon film. I don't know that one. I'm interested what this Z on there is you're referring to. Shame because I used to be a court of King Caratacious and press people as a kid. Right. Right, we've got to shoot a button, basically. This is the one we are really trying not to take too much damage early on. It's all perfect, this one. Can I shoot it? Yes. Okay. You gonna play some CG4 tomorrow? Go for it. Am I partly to blame for that? <laughs> Alright, don't shoot that one. Whatever you do, do not shoot that one. See, this is so tight. Right, energy, not good. I'm playing the blame. I'm sorry about that. A little bit. Right, uh, Not looking promising, I'm taking too much damage. Life. That'd be good. Alright, now we're gonna shoot the wall. Ha! <laughs> Won't be long, buddy! Won't be long! Yeah, Zora was like that as well. We did a long play of. I heard that all day. Amazingly, it didn't bother me. Like bubble bubble, really. Same category. Um. That your ears will be at rest soon. I promise. Probably very soon. Uh, right now down here. Watch it down. That was brutal, wasn't it? For cartoon. That's one of those ones that was always on like Christmas morning, wasn't it? Cartoons that featured blood. Ugh. Right, now where? Down here. Tis was. Hello, Dr. Grey. Good to see you, buddy. Spent the best part of an hour trying to talk to someone on Nintendo. Absolute nightmare. Unfortunately, yes, it can take that long sometimes. I was trying to sort out a problem I had with my Xbox One, or Xbox 360, should we say. About a year or so ago, and yes, that also took about an hour and a half, and I still didn't solve the issue. Sometimes these chat lines isn't really the way to do it. But sometimes we have to. Because you don't need to talk to people on phones anymore. There we go. Um, like the Richard Adams movies, watch it down. Christian, what is your favourite Saturday morning show? Probably. Um, I mean... Of course, it was probably going to be something like, um... Uh, Motor Mouth, which of course contained lots of lots of additional cartoons, like Batman for example, but yes, that is up there. Motor Mouth, um... But yes, the, the Batman animated was, was really, really good. That was really good. Uh, of course, the chat lines, which of course you had Magic Pockets. You had that troll, which I can't remember his name, but it features on Amiga. Uh, of course we had... Do you know what? I'm going to play some tapes now. We're going to go for tapes. Good old tapes. Um, hold on. How you doing, Robert Gray? Sorry to hear you've had that problem. That's a nuisance. But good to see you. Um, Transformers and He-Man, of course. Classic once again. We're just talking about the old school days, how good they were. 
Right, tape. Good old tape. Let's rewind the tape. Now this one is actually not too bad. We set that. So that gives you the opportunity to catch up with this chat. Right. There we go. Um, it was one of those live chat lines. Yeah, they can take for ages, can't they? It's like e uh, Amazon do it as well, don't they? I was trying to sort out a return quite some time ago, and that also does take quite some time. Got to in the end, though. Real tapes. Yes, I'm firing up. Wait, it's spreading fist. Now, this one doesn't actually take long, but this one does contain a invader load, which you might have seen in my memory video. So, um, next question. How many games do you name which had a hidden game? Whether it actually been a loaded situation or a game that's built into another game? Real hardware, yes. Give it real. Real, real, real. Yes, absolutely so. You know what I want to say about that? Yes. Classic, isn't it? Hello to Mr. Spud. Good to see you. Pigeon Street, just before my time, really. Real tapes, yes. Love it, don't you? Yeah, Transformers classic. I do have the Transformers uh, film, the cartoon, uh, which is in alphabetical order, James. It should be a dog to find. It's like T. T is a good way to look. Um, T, 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 Q-R-S-T, Jamie. <laughs> yes, there we go. Just make a time. Right, just before it's safe to make it a cup of tea, we'll find Transformers of your shelf in Vader Road. Yes, classic. Like I say in that uh, memory video, this absolutely blew me bum away. We had no idea the CG4 was capable of doing such a thing. But yes, while the game is loaded, you can actually play a game in the process. A lot of wow facts and the music was fantastic. Back then, we never heard of One Man, One Man is Joyed. Never heard of it, never played it before. Even to this day, I still never actually played the game. But of course, we're covered. I don't think you had a lot of say in this. I don't think you did. Uh, yes, hidden game. In this case, a game that you play while the game loads. Good old Space Invaders. But yeah, some games, uh, I think Lotus, is it Lotus 3 or Lotus 2, something like that, or maybe 1, I'm not sure. There was actually a hidden game in there, I'm pretty sure there was. What the game was, I don't know, I'm pretty sure there was. But whether you put a code or a cheat, I don't know. But sometimes you just load up games to play this. Is that good? Yeah, it was a wow factor, wasn't it? Yeah, even this will prevent me from making a cup of tea. Of course, I take so much tea. If you fail, not in the world. Go again. So close. The last one is always going to be fast. Uh, hello to the UK. Hello to Chris. Good to see you, buddy. Spore? You never played Spore. Is that the same one as this? Yakuza on Outrun? Oh, really? That's cool. So we're going to learn a lot today. Of course, Robert Gray is playing loads of games. No, it's, it's Lotus 2, is it? I wasn't going mad, I'm pretty sure it's accurate to a point, you say. Um, hope you're well. Any, okay, hope you're well. What are you doing this weekend, buddy? Is resting on the agenda? Probably not. <laughs> Get it, UK doesn't rest. Uh, Joe Blade had Manic Painter. Yes, Ghostbusters had it as well, didn't it? Fantastic game once again. Dead of Tentacle, Manic Mansion. Yes, you go onto the, um, the computer after you kick the lady down the stairs. Yes. And then the game loads up. Fantastic. There we go. Uh, Real Hardware, Get Elkenstein. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ghostbusters played that to death as well. F F FTX, the main player in Bitcoin, stole $134 billion from it. Uh, everyone's a Wally had a hidden shoot em up in the phone booth. Oh, really? But yeah, Colin, I agree with you. Uh, no idea then. I know bonus rounds or hidden levels or sub games on all RPGs. Sport was a pretty good game in its own right. Really underrated gem. 
We used to stop the tape just to play the Invader loads. Yeah, we didn't really want it to stop, but of course, this game was fantastic. Um, let's do editing game, a shooting range game. Wrestling is what you do with <laughs> I have to admit though, we all should rest, but I suppose we all don't, do we? I very rarely do. Uh, this reminds me of Sync ST Karate I had for the Atari ST. I'm trying to sort out internet in the workshop and work on some repairs. Did you ever play Kicks? I did, yes. Thanks, yes, there are some arcade machines playable. Right, how about a little bit, uh, where it's wooden fist, where it's name from it, though. Joe Blade, I don't know if I've played the second one, I think I've played the first. Anyway, Mr. Spud, how are you? How are the pussycats? How's Pan the cat doing? Is he doing alright? Still taking his medication like a pro? Yakuza had Outrun, Virtual Fighter 4, Space Harriet, Fantasy Zone, and tons of other. I can't remember. That's amazing, isn't it? I didn't realise there were so many. Uh, Daisy Tangle actually had the original man mansion hidden in that game. It did. Uh, all good. Got a cold though. I've had a, I've had a bit of a cold as well. Caused by the cold, basically. Been coughing, splattering all the last two weeks. Cause it's so cold. Nice music, it's fantastic, isn't it? Shima, Shimu, was that on the Dreamcast? Never played it, but I have seen footage. Double KO! So basically, like, um... Bruce Lee, you'll get the yin yang. Two perfect yin yangs move on to the next round. Uh, Call of Duty back up at Zork, and of course, yes, you also had um, the zombies mode, didn't you? Kick to the nose. Breath of Fire, three and a half quarter, hidden fairy kingdom. See, I knew I was going to learn a lot from you guys. Um, what am I doing this weekend? Um, uh, Mr. Gadget UK, I'm working tomorrow morning, I'll be up at 5 o'clock in the morning. And that is it, um, that's my final Saturday, and then I'm done. I've done my 10, so I'll get paid £250 for doing it. Which I'll get in January. But yes, Sunday, probably edit a video, I expect. Um... Yeah, those last two uploads have taken so much time, so I haven't got many videos done. I've spent so much time on each one, but yeah, it's been about five days most of them. Those last two. Um, Bridge Race, of course. There we go. That, yes, amazing. That I was a werewolf. I had forgotten about it, though. But it wasn't really hidden well. Yeah, they the Sense Call, I finished that many, many times, but I'd never actually heard of Maniac Mansion before. Never seen it before. But yes, I don't know if you'd actually exit the game. There's a few times I went into the computer. And loaded it up, and I didn't know how to exit the game. But yeah, I had no idea it existed. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know what it was all about. Until, of course, I realised in the future that it was, of course, the first game. Didn't know Dead Ticket was a sequel. But. <laughs> Final Fantasy VII had a snowball game. That one, I take your word for it, I've never ever played Final Fantasy. Never played any of them. Versions of Mr. Commander, Donkey Kong, and Space Invaders. All classics. Shemu had a few games as well. Outrun, Hang On, and Afterburner. Blimey, as Sean says. Um, this one is one of the most difficult questions. There you go. Move on. Now also, you do get the ball, don't you? Now, you've got to try and punch him in the face, or just jump over him, what you just do back in the day. Um, however, I don't know what move, it's the punch. But you need perfect timing. Backflips. Uh... Yeah, this one, probably got it for me for my birthday. Was it Christmas? It's one of the two. The first game he ever bought me. There we go. Click around a year old. Right, I won that one just. Um I don't know. I didn't I don't know what the move is, I have no idea. <laughs> the 
don't think, you know, you don't lose, well, you don't lose points, you don't lose lives, that's for sure. BA Ridge Racer, I haven't got that one, or have I? Yes, I have actually, I've also got Ridge Racer Type 4, I played that one loads as well. I mean, the Ridge Racer games has its very unusual turning, you can drift so much. That first one, yes, yeah, so you can lose your control very easily in that game. It's scrappy, there we go. Um. Ooh, how did I win that? It was a draw. Maybe my moves were better, I suppose. But yeah, thank you, it's good to see you, buddy. But yes, Robert Gray, after all that trouble, did you actually manage to solve it? Did they solve it? And don't have a time yet, I forget this game has one. Close match, close confrontation. If you want to play a Final Fantasy game, play 7, it's a masterpiece. It's got four discs, isn't it? I don't even know how many there are. Was there 15 of them now? Missile Command is classic as well. We're in Fallout 4. I used to have Fallout 4. But traded it in. Wasn't sure on that one. Right, round the ear! Now, of course, that was also built into the PlayStation Classic, wasn't it? Um. Yeah, Robert Gray, what would you say is your favourite, if you are into them, of course, your favourite Ridge Racer? Have you got a favourite? I've got Ridge Racer 5, Ridge Racer 4, Ridge Racer 1. I used to have Ridge Racer Revolution, but I had that as a Platinum. I wasn't a fan of the Platinum cases, I have to admit. I think I'm going to be out on this one. Turn around! Turn around! I don't know how to turn around, I can't remember. Kite, what, uh, what about the new one, the Final Fantasy Integrate? Well, I've got a fifth Dan, not too shabby. And that was from a tape. There you go. Cool music! Which race uh, is your favourite? I've got it somewhere. Right, next game, next game, next game. Okay. Whew. Yes, sorry, it bugs me after a while. I thought, right, I need to answer my own question. Yes, I do have it. There we go. Unfortunately, I've got a label on there. i got to try and get that label off. Uh, yes. Uh, also, yes, that's the one I played the most. Ridge Racer Type 4. Got that on launch day. Uh, probably won't be able to stream that because I'll probably get so many copyrights. Right, I'm going to plug in the disk drive, we're going to move on. What games do we see next? We've still got I.O. I might, might go for a little I.O. That's also another superb shooter. Um, brought it, but still haven't played it. Mr. Sweetie's House, what was the final result? I'm guessing you go to penalties. Welcome back, buddy. Good to see you. How are you doing? Um, 
I O. Right, restart. Of course, I plugged it in. It's not going to like that. You like Mitchell Revolution? It's the one I remember fondly. Resident Evil 1 to 3 are amazing. I don't care about the 3D remakes. I know what you mean. Sometimes, yes, 3D is good, but sometimes it's not so good. But if it's a game that started as 3D, it makes sense. If it's a game that started as 2D, which then goes to 3D, that does tend to spoil it, I have to admit. I do need to... Yes, I do need to do that, yes. Um, yes. But if it's a game, like, for example, Croc, Legend of Gobbos, and yes, it's a classic, it really is good. That started off as 3D, which is fine with me. If that were to go 2D, I don't think that would work, in my personal opinion. Um... RGs were absolute, of course. Have you? No, not yet. Must, might do that one next, buddy, yeah. Um, I was on penalty. 3 2 to the South Americans. Okay, PS1 before the black PlayStation logo at the bottom of the case. I had a few of those. Right, IO, and then we'll go to some, some shooting. Don't hit us. Oh, yes, of course. No, we can't do that. Well, I might do. I'm not sure. I have to pick the ducks well one time, pick the good ones. Um, no, don't pick the good ones. That'd be you, wouldn't it? Pick the bad ones. So it was a good match, was it? Chrono Tri Tri Trigger is amazing. Love the pre-rendered PSX era. Uh, never got to the play Chronicle Cross. I wasn't on PlayStation Store for my Vita. It didn't come out over here. Right. Um, Rage Racer. It can be sometimes, yeah. Those evil drifts. Right. Okay. Jamie, you keep forgetting your music, you wally. That's why it's there. You spent like 30 minutes putting it in place. But is it too loud? We're going to be playing this game again. Right. We might be here. Right. Hopefully that's all right now. Uh, right. I O. Into Oblivion. Um, Jamie, since when does it start with uh O? -oh, you pillock. It starts with I. Absolutely stupid. Creatures 2. I don't think I actually ever played Creatures 2. Only Creatures 1. I do have the soundtrack. and have a box version of the media force. Um, don't know if I've got it, though. Maybe. I'll have a look. There you go. See, it starts with I, you see. We did the I question on today. So there we go. I. It's one of my picks. Where's the case, Jamie? I keep losing cases. I was here. Hello to Gumdio. Hello, everybody. Good to see you. Uh, it's classic. Is it good, is it? Ah, okay, I'll have to add that to the list for future times. Um. Okay. Um, did you see the match? You saw it? Yeah, good game then, was it? Good game, good game. Better than the one that England did two, two, about a stream ago. Right, this is loading. So, loading like a disk drive. Now, I did play this back in the day. This is one I found out since doing the channel. Uh, I.O. has been held as the ultimate shoot 'em up for the Commodore 64 forward slash 128, created by Development Supremos. Doug Hare uh, and Bob Stevenson, someone mentioned earlier today. Uh, the I.O. combat craft has to be piloted through superb landscapes facing heavy alien waves, firepower, and definitive end of level guardians. I.O. the final shoot 'em up. There you go. Hope you're well, Gumdio. Good to see you. And Swiss House, hope you're well too. See, that loaded quite quickly, so there we go. On a tape, it would have been a different story. Um, next question. What are your top three CC4 shooter maps? Does it have to be CC4? It could be Amstrad, or maybe even ZX Spectrum. It's entirely up to you. Let's get this in shot. It's brutal, but with a zip stick, it should be a tad easier. But I have finished it before. Uh, join some CG4 art while well, listening. That's cool, buddy. That is really good. 1987 is a classic year, and a classic year, yes. I just needed one sad times. Um, Christmas 2 is brilliant. And it's, mm, I don't know if I've got it though. I certainly can look into it. So 
So what is your top three shoot maps on the Super 4? I have, I have, I have, I have. Silly question that is, isn't it? Yes, played it at an expo. The only downside was actually as a keyboard. But yeah, it was fantastic. Mega version is still my favourite, it always will be. CD4 is of course fantastic as well. This is also very good. Right, we're we'll getting to the flow of things. Nightmare, TNG, Robocop, 1987. Shall I like Robocop? Yes, we've had many conversations about Robocop, but yes, CD4 version. Yes, we talked about it the other day, wasn't we? How it's extremely unlikely to finish due to o um, Ocean Software knowing about the bug. It's crazy, isn't it? Now in this game, you start off with, of course, the basic firepower, but you can upgrade quite quickly. But it's just trying to keep it. Every time you take damage, you will lose an orb or two. Uh, unless you're hit by something extreme power, then that will take away everything. B bullets are fast! It's, it's, yeah. Great game though. Not very long though, only four levels. Boss battles, which are also very challenging at the end of it. A lot of learning in this one, a lot of learning curve in this one. But yes, Robocop is fantastic. Pretty stuff you draw, Colin. He's an amazing artist, yeah. And Mr. Raw. If you shoot those icons, you can get additional weapons, but if you don't do that, you actually nuke anything on the screen. Quite a lot of shoot marks did that! When you, your orb takes damage, you lose it, but you can get it back if you're lucky. But we love shoot marks, we love them. They're challenging, but we love all that. Right, um... Chat in a moment. Oh my lord! Right. I'm gonna try and keep everything to the boss, really. Right, hammer. Uh, budget. I, I can't remember what I paid for this. I didn't buy it back in the day, though, but I have got it now, of course. I can't remember what I paid for it. It wasn't that expensive, but it. Yeah. Would have been about two, three quid, I suppose, back in the day. Destroy it piece at a time. It's a very, very challenging opening boss. It really is. Though. Soul Force is also very good. Uh, hopefully, get an Omega Port. That'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? Uh, right, we lost one though, which is fine. We should be able to get it back. Uh, hello to Old Star Gaming. Good to see you. You crept in there. How are you doing? Oh, Lord. I O into Oblivion. I'm sure you know. Are you a fan of it? It's brutal though, isn't it? Good shooter. Very much so. This game, you do not want to lose weapons. It's a very different game when you lose all your weapons. Oh, you see? Yes, like Menace. Yes, I played Menace very early on in my life. Finished that many, many times. But yeah, when you die, you go back to basics. It's peace shooter territory. No. No. Yeah, good to see you, buddy. Uh, I have got the Game Boy version of R-Type. Yes, R-Type DX, as yes, I have it. It has R-Type 1 and 2. <sighs> yeah, when I got my purple Game Boy Color, I, yeah, it was the first game I bought. Then it was Tetris. Tetris, yeah. Right, let's give her that question. We're gonna have that another go. But yes, one of my top three shooters, well, our type of course, had to be there. It's always going to be there. Trojan Warrior, and the third one's always the most difficult. Probably based on the memories, you're going to go with Zynax, I think. Now, of course, there are many, many more fantastic shooters, but not many of them I played back in the day. A lot of them I found out late in my life. Project X, there is a Project X on the CG4, but it's not the same game. It's a totally different thing. Right, our type, I owe Warhawk for Colin. Uh, I.O. is awesome. 
Blue Rover Copper's Boot Tour kept me awake when my dad showed mine. It was, it was like 10. Uh, Ocean never finished Robocop on the CD4, so they made the warehouse unpassable unless you play the nostalgia version, which was recoded and finished. Didn't know that back in the day. It's crazy, isn't it? But yeah, I know there's that way of punching through that wall, or, or, or glitching your way through the wall, should we say. But yeah. Catechist and Harvest is your favourite. It's fantastic, isn't it? Evil Flowers. Evil Flowers, yeah. Death by Flower. Parset is great. I do have that. Soul Force is great. I have that. Eon. Should we not talk about the electrical company? Don't ever played that one. Lies of the Universe, I've got that as well. Do you have that? Uh, it stands for Into Oblivion. They got 1987 kinetic design. Into Oblivion. Yeah. Product CX. Yes, sounds like a complete different game. Yeah. Into Oblivion. There it is. Alright, let's go again. Try to get off to a better start this time. You also do earn additional life from school. But you want to try and get to the second level without losing weapons. Or crashing into terrain, Jamie. It's a good start. What's the escape key? Does it have one? I don't know if it does. If in doubt, look at the manual. Abort. Q. Well, I suppose Q makes sense. Quit, doesn't it? Oh, died anyway. Um, road hard rock shooter. What's that? Uh, have you played a rock hard shooter on the media called Aggression? I don't know if I have, mate. I don't think I have. I need to look into that. I haven't heard of that one. Aggression. I'll put it on your either. No. No. Stat fight is good. I'm not good at it. Certainly Robert Gray is, though. He's a wizard, that game. Enforcer is fantastic, and so is The Enforcer. Two completely different games, though. Um, Stat, like, the uh, design apps was fantastic. Fire track, hard to pick again. Uh, how was your breakfast, Bonadash? <laughs> we'll be having lunch now, aren't you? Appreciate it, buddy. Just sitting around. Pea shooter territory. Change that quickly. Right. Can I let you have that as well? There's not. The occasional one will pass me by, but it, it's. it's... Well. I try not to miss these shoot em ups. Of course, there's still many I probably haven't heard of in this case. Play. Technically the same thing. Right, we need an orb. Where's your shooter? Right. No! Ah, my lord, up close. Oh. oh, my lord. Ah. Right, casual shot in a moment. We don't want peace shooters in a game like this. Right, Q. There you go, Q! That's the way to go, isn't it? Just finished my coffee, breakfast was good. I've learnt of some games that sit me by thanks to Jamie's channel. Thank you, buddy. You should try it. It's not for the faint hearted. Oh, really? Is it more difficult than blood money? And that is the ultimate question. Right there. Q for bit. Q for quill. What would you want? Yes. Yeah, I'm not a fan of coffee. I like the smell of it though. G for the win. Drinking so much of it. Ridiculous. So of course the first few pickups basically just improves your rate of fire. Also, it's a very important thing in this game. Season 4 is brilliant, I love it. Ugh! 1987. Still to this day, I don't know what pack it was. I just don't know. I don't know where they got it from. I and mean, I was about 5 when we got it. We did 
you mean it's all players two player? It's crazy, really. You bro, I just took it in turns mostly. We worked together. You think we sort of play get to hits? Casual beat em ups we did. Maria Oh my lord. Right. Yes, this is an original CG4, yes. This is not the first one, this is my second one. One um, later on in my life. Uh, one in 1987, of course. And this one, I got it about six years ago. And it hasn't got any yellowing whatsoever. It's absolutely perfect. And yes, I was using a tape deck earlier today. That is also in pretty pristine condition. It was all in on the screen. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? But yeah, I was planning to use a CRT. I had it plugged in, I was really rock and roll with it, but I couldn't capture it. I didn't have like leads. Of course, I don't have the red, white, yellow connectors coming out of the CC4. Basically, composite, I don't have it. So, no dice for that. Oh, wrong thing to do there, Jamie. We need some parallax, it does. Gumjo, yes, we do, don't we? It's a little bit there. It's just a star field, isn't it? Look at this pathetic thing. So what's your plans for Swedish house? The weekend that lies ahead. Jamie, we can't survive with this. We can't survive like this. We've got nothing here. Um... You can get a, a lead for about... That is true. A bit difficult, all these difficult moments of the Royal Mail going on strikes and all that. But yeah, I'll get one in the future. But as it turned out, um, Duck Hunt doesn't work with this gun. I was going to use this gun. Uh, some games work with it, but unfortunately, Duck Hunt doesn't work with it. But we'll do it with the, uh, we'll do it the other way. Did you figure out the light gun is capable of... No, it's not. This one's not. That's funny you just said that. Uh, no, this one's not. I tried it, and the cursor was only moving up and down. It wouldn't move left and right, so it wouldn't do the full works. But yeah, I did look into it. I did download a few. I was going to add a few today, but again, they'd have the right leads. Yeah, it's amazing. There's quite a few there. Of course, you mentioned it before. I didn't realise there were so many. <clears throat> What if the Sega phaser would work? It might do. Right. Hold on a minute. See a monkey? Hold on a minute. It's about drinking. Um. Ah! Lord. Hold on a minute. Uh, going to... Going for a drink, are you? It's all gone pig tong now, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to drink beer and consume little sit substances. I have a magma light gun, but I think it's at your dad's loft. When was the last time you used it? Right. Let's go. Last go. Beer, yeah, unfortunately, yes. Uh, High definition TVs is no good for these old school guns. But of course, I did a stream quite some time ago and it worked perfectly. But yeah, much more easier to do on that one. Right. Yeah, only CRT. Unless it's, of course, I have got also in my collection Time Crisis 4, which of course is PlayStation 3. That does work on high definition TVs. Designed for it, basically. But that probably won't work on a CRT, I expect. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I, think, I, re I reckon there's so many people have been caught out by that. Played it for so long, because of course the TVs don't allow it. Unless they've got a CRT. Oh, oh lord. It also kills the bullets. Well. I think that took all my orbs away. If I had orbs, I can't remember. 
This is level one. Need something. One will do. Two is better. Uh, hello to Rational Check Ralph. Good to see you. Need another orb. How's life treating you? Hope it's going alright. Last time we used it was 90s, yeah? Six games. More than me. Lost it immediately. Just keeps giving, keeps on giving. Destroy it one piece at a time. Just when you think it's done, it's hatching with extra fast bullets. An extremely brutal first level. Above the Amiga, under wouldn't make much sense. You can think of. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Right, evil plants. Don't be killed by evil plants. They are pea shooters, literally. These are definitely pea shooters. Right. Boom! We lost some of that. Oh my lord! This is a difficult bit. Simple as that, right? Just like that. No! Didn't we do that? Oh, yeah. Boom trigger like a. <laughs> I heard that for years! Egg shaped bosses! Egg shaped bosses! And the worm, gigantic worm. Yeah, it was six months ago. Biggest games of fifth compilation. Was there any systems that Operation Warp was not on? Oh, look at this. Well, we're going for it. P shooter territory, we're going for it. Oh my lord, how brutal is this? Egg shaped gravestone, pretty much. Only Ataris can be used to for the feet. <laughs> All a bit. No. Uh, you would think someone would make an overlay for new TVs that worked with the old light guns. There was a new one, wasn't there? Uh, I can't remember what it was called though, but it was a, it was a, it was a Kickstarter, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. I can't remember its name though. It came out a few years ago. No, I tried to kill the plant. Can't do it. Um, Cinder, that's the one. Yes. Quite expensive though, I remember rightly. Me, I have six CRTs, and you love them. Good go, Jamie. Thank you. It's set into the wall under my Amiga 500. Who has a CRT these days? Me, but not six, so. Uh, have you played Redshift on the Spectrum? No. I'm not a Speggy lover, but as far as vertical shooters go, it's brilliant. So oh, really? The Magnum light gun, but I think it's in your dad's loft. Does it work with CRT panels or CRT only? Lots to do this weekend since we've been crazy with work and things after work. Well, I hope you get some rest time through this house. But Mark Gordon, good to see you, buddy. Good graphics for the season four. Hope you're well. Uh... Right. You have three CRTs. Want more, though. Sindon, I bought one, but expensive. Shall I have one more go? One more go, or move on. I'll let you decide. Yeah, you have to be very close. Uh, this makes Cuphead look easy at times. Yes, I'm seeing as well as I saw it, yeah. 200 pounds, a lot of dough, isn't it? Okay. Right, question. Um, mind you, we've got some few new ones to game in the bay, haven't we? Um, no, I believe it. Ducks next. Ducks next. But not people fantasies. Right. Let's go. 
Back go, good go, lost go this is. It's level three. Or even better, level four. Should've put some music on it, shouldn't I? Yes, for this house, I didn't play um, Duck Hunt back in the day. I didn't ever had a NES back in the day. But of course, you had the, uh, the Mario Brothers combo, didn't you? And uh, yeah, I've never actually played it with a gun. Uh, one of my friends did have it, but of course, no gun. I don't know if the game changes much over the course of time. Yeah, really good for the 87, yeah. You yeah, ever got it, of course. Well, the system, not the game. Right, don't die, Jim. Is it that time already? Was it? What's the full crit, isn't it? Right, that kills all the screaming. You've got everything, you must use it. Use it and abuse it. Do you have a, um... An official, original NES, the Swiss house. Or you have the mini, like I do. Ah! Mm -hmm. Don't lose weapons. Ah! Trojan, yeah, that Trojan Warrior. Or Trojan you're throwing to. Two different games there, Jamie. Yes, that's also... Yes, yeah, Swiss house loves that game, if I remember rightly. Right, come on, Jamie. I have to admit, I have to change my tactic on this one. The same all applies, just destroy it, piece by piece. Now, I don't know what the most difficult game is. <coughs> Shoot up on the siege floor is, but they're all very brutal in their own ways. Um, double cass oh, no, double set. Only played duck hunt on fr uh, friends, yeah. Right. Now that bottom orb is fantastic for getting those even plants. Right, better go, better go, better go. Don't lose a ball. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, but back. Right, got it. Hello, Trevor. Oh, I'm so close. Yet so far. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I don't believe it. It was going well too. It's the worst bit to lose weapons. It is the worst bit. Oh, it all changes from there. How you doing, buddy? Trevor, Icon64. Good to see you. Top game, yeah. I was going on to see you guys so well. Unfortunately, I keep losing my weapons at a really bad time. I mean, losing your weapons at any point in this game is the worst time. Like, Jamie, we've got to stay back here. Stay back. Right, okay, we'll go with that. I'm right with you. More extra bosses. Also, 
also the artwork to the bosses is also very, very good as well. Poop! Poop! Right, now where? Right, this is not going to be <laughs> simple. It's quite painful when you shoot like this. Um... Yeah, it's probably its flaw is losing your weapons. Gonna have to do that, I ain't got a choice. I mean, this one is easier with this bullet than the last one. It'll take ages. Shoot the eye! Nowhere else but the eyeball, there we go. One life remains. Uh, Zamzaro's friend is brutal as well. I did try a long player that a long time ago, but I gave up. I just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. I just couldn't master that game. Not far though. But it's time. You've got like 15 minutes. A lot to do in a short space of time. So many levels too. Oh, got a plant down there as well. You did, you did, you did, you did. Yes, you did. I remember. Yes. My lord. Uh, no, it's not a two-player game. No, it's not. Or is it? It is. It's Probably take it in turns, I expect. It's got to be taken in turns, surely. Uh, I don't think a second... Oh, Let's try it. Alright. It's gonna be turn base, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon so. Right, so there you go. <laughs> uh right, shoot some ducks, shall we? Okay, so, um turn that back on. Johnny Roger, G Morgan to Rose Yes. Did um it's a boss from the Scotch video it does re record and fade away. Re record that fade away. Classic, right? Right. Um, sorry, I missed so many comments there. Zemzo is tough, especially with time. Yes, it is. The worm looks incredible for CG4. Would be impressive sight on the 16-bit machine. No Nez anymore. It was my brother's, but I doubt he's still got it. Good night all. I take it easy, Mark. Um, uh, this is up there with one of the hardest, I'd say. Delta also and Armalite is brutal if you lose your weapons. Yes, I would have died a hundred times by now. By like all early shooter maps, flawed when you lose weapons. Yes, there's so many, isn't there? Not all of them do it, but a lot of them do it. Why does he keep doing that? Uh, how you doing, uh, Trevor? By the way, good to see you. Rubicon the fade away. Yes. Um. Yeah, I've never noticed that with the two players. Yeah, it's got to be turn base, surely. Has to be. See, it's weird, isn't it? Unbelievable. Um, how's the? Uh, how are you getting on with the latest game, uh, buddy? Uh, run. Okay, we're gonna run with that. We're gonna go to a new game this time. Zamzar is tough, but what an absolute bargain that game was when you fired it up, especially expecting some bad government. What it needs, what it's desperately requiring, is the ability to fire while crouching. Of course, you can't crouch in that game. You can fly, you can stand, you can shoot, you can set weapons, but you can't fire while crouching. And of course, your weapons are limited. Um, but that's its problem, basically. Uh, Terrestrial is also released on the 17th of this month, not too far away. Ninth. Fantastic. Bob Stevenson's graphics on this is beautiful. Yeah. We're good to see you. Uh, right. Always interesting to see what projects you're working on. Um, my boss made me gawp. That's not mine. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, that, that, I remember you saying. I did see it. Not played it, but I have seen the footage. It really is good. Did it take you long to do? I remember asking you that before. I'm assuming... I don't think it did take you very long. 
Uh, was it cool? D. It's not called D, it's not D. Where is it? Right at the bottom, Jamie. Of course, a newish game won't take that long to load. Even like this. But yes, I have played Zenzar. I don't have a case version of it, but yeah, very, very difficult. They are. They are. Very, very good. Donkey Kong and Metal Gear. I have played Metal Gear on the Niga. Didn't play it on the original system. And of course, I like looking at that. I like the artwork as well. All 64. Yeah, he's made loads. I mean, I, I, again, I think I have asked you this before. But what was the first game you worked on? Yeah, I've got quite a lot of physical versions. Trouble is, just to find places to put them. That's the problem. With limited space. But I have got loads. In fact, I've recently I just bought myself another game today. I treated myself. It's a, it's a brand new game by Protovision, and it's called Muddy Races. I bought myself a box version. It's not out yet. It's a pre-order. But there we go. Of course, I love the loading of this game as well. Right, after this one, we'll play another new game. We'll play some Jungle Joe. Nice art, good, isn't it? That'll do. Now, Sean P put a question on Discord a few weeks ago asking. How many games can you name where you put your character is a dog? Now, we named the, the main ones, which of course, Sleepwalker. And... I suppose Shadow Dancer in a way, but can you guys think of any more games? Wonder Dog, that's the other one. Can you think of any other games where you play as a dog? There's quite a lot of games you play as a cat, but a dog, I can't really think of many. But anyway, I'll be right back. But you have a bit of a thing. Dogs of War, sort of. Not really. Oh, in that hallway, my lord. Scrappy Doo, yes. Ren and Stimpy, yes. Of course, Ren is a cat. No, he's not. Ren is a chihuahua. Stimpy's a, is a cat, isn't he? That's correct. Yes, good one. Star Paws on the CG4. Yes, played that. Clive Mayhem, good to see you. Scrappy Doo, yeah, I love the music of that. Scrappy Doo and Scooby Doo. Yes. But yes, Mr. Sweet's house, dogs of war contains no dogs whatsoever. Just lots and lots of people trying to hunt you down and kill you. But there we go. But yes, the, um... It's not going to work. Of course, I've got the wrong TV now. But yeah, there we go. Um... Yeah, copyright 1984. I was two originally. Dylan the dog. Oi, oi, Savaloy. Good to see you. Oh, Sam Max hit the road. Shall I have a box version of that? Rise of the Triad. Is oh, yes, of course. Yes, you turn into a dog. And you bite their legs off. You do. Um... Yeah, Star Paws, I've played that. I didn't quite understand. And Huckleberry Round. See, I knew you guys would answer some of those. Grim Dog. Yes, Grim Dog. I haven't seen him for a while. Hope he's well. Winter Olympics on C16 in 1986. Duck Time. Possible Mission look, does three. Looks fantastic. Never played the second one. But I played the two. Sorry, played the first one loads. But anyway, it's what you expect. It's pretty much identical to what you'll do. You've got to shoot the ducks, basically. Uh, but... Uh, how do we play the game? Is it spacebar? It is spacebar. But unfortunately, I can't use the gun here. But yeah, Sleepwalker is brutal. There he goes. Right, it's pulp. You have a pulp, isn't it? Fly away. That's better. Right, so you have limited bullets. Okay, hit as many as you can.
Um, Dylan the dog? Was that a game or was that the character in the game? I'm trying to think now. I can't remember what a dog's called. In oh, of course it's Ralph, isn't it? Of course it is. Sleepwalker dog is called Ralph, Jamie. You should know that. And Lee is the sleepwalker. It does, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? Take too long, they fly away. Yes, the, the dog in Sleepwalker is called Ralph. The Sleepwalker is called Lee. And you're called Ralph. Yes. Um, this reminds you of Garfield. Garfield was good. Yeah, I played that quite a bit back in the day. Don't have a box of it now, though, but we used to. It's a bit mean, though, isn't it? It is a bit mean, I have to admit. You shoot them down, and grab them by the throat, and hold them in the air. But I think the character sprites do seem a little bit larger here. But you do get three shots per try, I think. But yeah, I don't know if it changes much more. It might just get faster. And yes, Garfield and friends used to watch that loads back in the day as well. So, was it Kung Fu someone? That was a dog, wasn't it? Um, there was another dog. It was a cartoon, based on the cartoon. It was Kung Fu. Hello, it's Canute 2021. Good to see you. Got a perfect there. 10,000 points. Dylan Dog is based on the comic. No dog main characters, though. Likely using Garfield Bay catches. Good, isn't it? Good to see you, buddy. Well, that's a very, very fast one, that one. My curse is not fast enough. Kung Fu Fui, that's the one, that's the one. Not the greatest game though, is it? But I've not played many of them. But overall, it's a really, really good pull. I might try the Sega like phaser and see if that works. Hello to Fact Amiga, good to see you. Hello everybody! Oh, I can't catch up. You're faster than my cursor. <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> How do you avoid that? You avoid that one, didn't you? <laughs> How's life treating you, mates? Good to see you. This is Duck Hunt. Came out what, about a week ago. Round four. But yeah, I don't think it actually changes. I don't think the, the, the layout changes all much. It just gets faster. Hope your family's alright. Would this work with a, uh, a pen? Not about a pen. Uh, probably not. But yes, you need to s certain guns do and certain guns don't. But even if I did get it working, we'd better stream it with your CRT anyway. So we get those leads, which of course, as you've mentioned, cost six pounds. Hide behind a tree, you can shoot through the tree. Fly away. Have some of that. 30,900. Grab a snack, dude. <laughs> you know this game? Yeah, on the CD4 this time. The question is gone. That duck is bouncing around. What question was that? Oh, about dogs? Yeah, games where you play as a dog. This one, you don't technically play as a dog, he's just, he's just your buddy, isn't he? He picks up the... He picks up your your work. You do the dirty work, he picks it up by the throat. What do you say? It's quite a cool game, really, isn't it? He doesn't. <laughs> Who can remember the last time, the last game they played using a light gun? Can anyone remember? Will it be on a system at home or an arcade? It's hard to cook. So many. Why would you have this many? That was perfect, wasn't it? Yeah. Round five? Is the music still playing? 
don't know. No. Don't think so. No, it's not. Right, we'll do one more, two at most. Got orange? Yeah, I do like uh, crispy duck. Yeah. Um, it's hard to cook. Haven't had in a long time. Played Rambo on the arcade? I have played that one, yeah. Played Crime Patrol on the arcade last? It's probably in your, your house, isn't it? Um, a real hunting dog, it never tries. No, he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do anything. He just picks up what I shoot, basically. Quite an easy life here, isn't it? It just keeps going, doesn't it? I don't know how many levels there are. Yeah, uh, Crime Patrol, I've not played that one, but I have played um, Rambo, yeah. Is that your house? <laughs> Crazy. How many have you got? How many have you got in total? Look at this. How many arcades have you got in total now? I probably could put one in the bedroom. I probably have got a little bit of space. Not that I'm hinting, not that I'm saying can I have one of them, but... If I would have, if I were to get one, I probably would have a little bit of space, not a lot. Could have been Operation Wolf in arcade. I, um, yes, I have played that a long time ago though. But I did play it on the S Mars system. You might see my video. Uh, that probably was the last one I played with a light gun. Thinking about it, because it wasn't this. Well, it could have been shooting gallery, but that was the same video, wasn't it? So yes, Operation Wolf was first. Second, sorry. Last. Profession was always. Uh, Arcade Machine got 20 something, but in terms of C PCBs, a lot more. I could search for a small one for you. No, I got the money, buddy. Peekaboo, I see you. I'll wait until I get a bigger house. One day it will happen, I'm sure. But thank you. Um. We ran Duck Hunt as an event in our school days last summer. It was a lot of fun. I just got a Rolling Thunder cabin. Oh, did you? That's cool. If you played this game in Brighton, you would have shot seagulls instead of ducks. True. Believe me, they're bigger than you think. They are. I mean, yes, they are. They are. They are. They are. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't got space. I can try, but no, I ain't got space. Save it for another day. How are you all doing? Hello to France. Good to see you. Bit of a big match tomorrow if you're into the World Cup. Yes. Um, yeah, I don't know which way it's going to go. That could be a very close game, that one. Right, we move over to Jungle Joe. Another new game. Came out this year, I think, as also. Right, I'm going to let this roll all the way. because This game has no music. Only title screen music. How you doing, Peekaboo Booty Shoe? How are you doing, Neptune? I really messed that up, didn't I? Oh, not Jungle John, Jungle Joe. Yes. Yeah, and heavy too. Really heavy, of course. Yes, Tom would know all about that. But yeah, most of them, look, most of them come from America, uh, Tom. Come on, work. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, yeah. Jungle John plays Jungle Joe. Uh, yeah, I guess you're ready for tomorrow night, Jamie. Well, I might watch it. I haven't watched any of it yet. No. Oh, poo! I didn't do that. It's in the port. Uh, yeah, I've not watched any of them. It was when the uh, when we was playing um, Senegal. Was it Senegal? Um, yes, uh, there's, there's four of us basically. And uh, oh my god, what's going on here? They was watching it. I wasn't. I was still working. <laughs> it was like <coughs> it was all crowded around this little tiny little tablet. <coughs> and I was like, no, I'll, I'll keep working. <coughs> I'll watch the highlights. <coughs> I might do a little, a little sneaky bet, I'm not sure. No, Denaris, I haven't played it yet. 
go to Jungle John. I'm doing it now. Jungle Joe. Then... Denaris. Yes. I need water, yeah. It's been horrible in the mornings, but I'm getting up and going to work. Of course, it's icy. It's, it's absolutely freezing. I get to work, I'm coughing and splattering all the time. People are like, you don't sound well, Jamie. I said, oh, it's the cold. That's, that's what it is. It's, I'm just not liking this cold. And also, it's very cold here as well. Um, that's difficult. <coughs> oh my lord. Right, come on, work this time. How many times have you been put in this today? Uh, so far, no, just went down the long hole, basically. No, 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 just a drink went down the long way. Um, uh, you need a cup of... Yeah, I... <coughs> I'm alright. Just wash it down with a bit of Lucas later, it'll be fine. Not ill, not ill at all. Just can't drink properly. Or trying to say too much while drinking at the same time. That's the ultimate, isn't it? Cold here, minus two, uh, five, is it? No idea what it is. Apparently it was minus four in Leeds, where Heath is. But here, probably about the same aspect. Is it? Yep, yeah, my car has got ice on its windscreen. The third day in a row. Um, jungle Judge. And I've checked, it does play. There we go. And, J and Jasper is probably out in it still. So he's at... I don't know how he does it. I don't know why he does it. You're in central Scotland, yeah? Um, I'll have to catch some sleep now. Take it easy, Max. Thanks for streaming me and see you next time. Take it easy, buddy. Calicus, not on C C C Yes, Calicus is also on C4, but for the same reason on the Amiga, yes. I wasn't allowed to use that name. Yeah, basically. Um, Harry Kane versus Killian Mbabble? Babby? I have never heard of him. I have heard of Harry Kane, yes. Uh, I have a few from America, but a lot from UK and Europe. Um, will you do a Christmas stream? Bad Amiga, good question. Which song is this? I don't know, I can't hear it. Um, so yeah, I can't hear it, unfortunately. Only you can. That is, that is, um, that is, um, Eliminator. That's it. Yes. You beat me right, you beat me to it. Beat me to the punch. Yeah, because I can't hear it, I can't, yes. I have to go on my own stream to find it out. Yeah, it should pop up. It should come up here, where I am. It should come up with a title. If all goes well. Yes, it should overlap my face. Yes. However, it's not on there for very long. It goes right across my mouth. Yeah, it could be quick. It did pop up, yes, I worked, yes, a little thing I added towards the end. Right, Vector 5, now I'm going to leave it going because, yes, it's got music here, but it's actually a very quiet game, this one. Jungle Joe. Now, it's kind of like Mick Dangerous, with a little bit of Indiana Jones twist, does that make sense? Uh, but it's basically a puzzle game, it's basically a puzzle platform game. Uh, we have to build bridges. You see where this is going now, can't you? There we go. How many... Oh. How many games can you name where you can build bridges? So what you got to do on this one, basically, you have limited amounts of bridges. Every time you pick up a bridge icon, it gives you five pieces of wood. Now, you got to try and find the idols and then find the exit door. But you got to do it in a tactical way with limited amounts of bridges. Bridges. Now it tells you down the bottom corner we have five lies and we've got twelve bridges to build with. And each level is broken down into three stages. Let me I didn't think that would take long. Uh, so yes, you can build up and you can build down, but also you can't you've got to push boulders as well, and you can't push a boulder through a platform. Uh, and you also have buttons to press. So to get up there, you've got to build up. But you've got to try and do it in the most limited amount of moves possible. Hold fire button down, you press up. And also you do have a sword which you use to defeat enemies with. Which has limited range, but one hit is all it takes. So we've still got 15 bits of wood. So go up there. That took four. Go back down. We've got 15 now. 
Now, when you die, you respawn, but I believe you have five from the start. Rainbow Island, Lost Patrol, Point of Flex, I don't know that one. Pushover is a classic. Just caught up. Does the new Duck Hunt game work with a light gun? It does, but not with not with a Defender 64. Hello to Craggle! You missed, um, I played what I was playing. Paperboy earlier on today. How you doing, Craggle? How's Hamish? Right, so this one, we've got a boulder. You just put, push the boulder over the button, and that opens the door. But also, yes, like Indiana Joe, you've got to try and find the idol. Uh, so we'll get up there. Uh, what I'm going to do first is pick up all this stuff. Also, falling from a height doesn't kill you. But yes, this game has no in-game music, which is why I put some in. So basically, yes. So one, two, three to there. One, two, three to there. Pick up that one and we've got to the snake. Up, up. Wait patiently. One hit to die situation. Build a bridge. Pick up the idol. Head to its door. We'll build our way to it first. So we have to go down. And also you cannot wreck your bridges. Once it's there, it will stay there. So we have to go. I think I messed this up actually. It's an easy way of doing it, Jamie. So down to there. This is going to use up quite a lot. We've got 16 though. Humans? Yes, I have got humans. There you go. Uh, it's a shame Defender Gun is the only one I have. Same here. Yeah. Bridge Builder Barry in Bridge of Time. Howdy, buddy. Good to see you. What's pushing it? Yes, push it real good. Uh, hello, Rich uh, Richard, good to see you, buddy. Richard, how's it looks like a bit dangerous? Yeah, it's a little bit of a rich, dangerous twist with a little bit of Indiana Jones thrown in. But yes, you have to break your way through the foliage as well. But yes, most importantly, don't run out of building bricks, bridges, pieces, basically. You can get stuck in this game. If you get stuck, you press the run stop and it gives you a restart. But of course, you have limited restarts. So, we killed a snake. We'd have to go up and push the boulder onto the button which opened up the door. Oh, you made it up! I thought it was a real game. I believed you there. <laughs> there, was quite, there was a lot of bees there, wasn't there? Pick up that. Build that with that. Push that down there. Push it on the button. Open up the door at the top. And then we go over to the right side. You don't have to pick them all up, of course. You don't want to run out of bricks, bricks, pieces of bricks. Uh, but yes, humans, I haven't played it for absolute ages, of course, I did feature it, but of course, I didn't have the manual. I've got it here somewhere in my house, I don't know where it is. Put it down there. Pick up that. There's also a button down there, so we have to... Have I messed this up? I can't remember. Maybe. Can't push it through there. Okay, up, 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 in, there we go. Yes, I got some, a bit, a mixed bag in there, yes. A bit of everything in there, there. Yes, definitely not this game, I promise you that. There we go, level complete, bonus, don't know what it was. Total idols, don't know what it was, and there's your level code. Yes, you've got some uh, Last Ninja 2 in there, you should have some Dizzy in there. Uh, you've got that game which I mentioned on today in there. Uh, and there should be a, new, a few more in there for any the next. Let me know when it's finished, I'll put the next one on. Um, yes, worms, someone mentioned worms, of course, they're girders in that one. But yes, same thing, pretty much. So, no idols here, just get to the exit. Um... So, pick your, pick, pick your room, basically. Um, if we go up here, one, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, pick up that one. That's ten. Down there. They could have been a lot more mean in this game and have you die falling from a height. Imagine that. There we go, twelve. Take it on to the next stage. Yeah, Last Ninja 2 is fantastic. Uh... It's brilliant, it really is good. I will be copyrighted it, but there we go. Um, one of the best. I haven't played, I haven't played any of them for actually ages, actually. Uh, right, plan this out, Jamie. So, don't be blocked in by our own building blocks. So, down there. We've got to push the boulder, uh, but go behind it first. So, 
Have I messed this up? I think I have. Yes, I've messed this up. Right, that's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. So, run stop. We try. We'll go again. Um, like that. He can't, no, he can't jump. He can't jump. Not many people can build but don't jump. But I suppose Lemmings can't jump in the early games, can they? But they can build with limited skills. Um, right, got it. So pick up that. We build up from here. You can go through it that way. That's fine. Push it to there. Opens up the door. Down here. One, two, three. Pick up the idol. Twenty is plenty. To there. To there. Sticky boots, yes. Yeah, quite tactical. Good fun though. Has the music finished? It has, isn't it? Uh, this game seems to be just my cup of tea. I will definitely pick this game up. Thanks, Morgan's Games. No problem at all. Yeah, it's not been out overly long, I don't think. I should have put the um, I should have put the link in the description, shouldn't I? Always forget about that. Now, also, you can actually break through the bridges. Put too much weight on it, eventually it will break through. Uh, so one, two, three, four to there. Hope you're well, Brenry. Good to see you. Um, can he swim? <laughs> That's a silly question. No, of course he can't. No, he can't swim this game. Are you surprised? You're not surprised, are you? So break the platform. Just don't get killed by the snake. What well, did he mean to do that? That's fine. One, two. Pick up the idol. Short of brush. Six. One, two. Up there. Get a bit low on the building box. There you go, one more mains. Outrun is fantastic. Yep, that should be here there. Yeah, Turbo Outrun it should be. Uh, that and Shadow Beast 1, 2, 3 have amazing soundtracks. Absolutely so. Amazing games as well. He was talking about it the other day, wasn't he? And yes, it's not everyone's cup of tea, of course. But I absolutely love it. Got loads of memories of that game. Uh, I called it a bit late though. Did Paperboy go? I got to Thursday, I think. But trying to read at the same time does add quite a lot of difficulty to it. But good to see you, though. But yeah, Humans was good. I've not played Humans 2. But apparently there was also another one, which I believe was on the Xbox, I think. Right, bats feature here. So, we've got what you're trying to do now. We need to break a hole for the floor. So, we don't actually need the boulders here. We just need to sort of get it out of there. And I didn't think that through, to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, did not think that through. First game I saw on Amiga was Shadow of the Beast. What a nice place to start. That is music to my ears. The first game I saw, which of course you know, was Xenon 2. And then the first game I played was Batman the Movie. Um, am I going to fall through there? No. Yeah, it's good, Gumdia. I like it. Uh, the only way is up now, baby. We'll get there first. One, two. Kill the bats. Superb. Neat game. Bats are evil in most games. So many games have evil bats. Those and wasps appear so much. To there, to there. But yeah, give it a try. It's good. It's good. Truxton, not played that on the Mega Drive. Uh, can't swim, can't jump, can't talk. It sounds like a Genesis song. <laughs> yeah, can't, it's, it's quite weird to have a platform game where your characters can't jump. That's very, very rare, isn't it? Right, so there, that'll bring up to 10. Pick up the idol. We've got to push the boulder f first. There. So we build there. Pick up that. Push that. We then have to push it from here to there. Opens the door. 
Ten to go. One more. One more. Oh! Too much quests? That's on there as well. I will be copyrighted for that as well. So there, so there, and there. Uh, right, now I can't remember how far I got. I was playing it last night actually. Truck students are brilliant shoot up. Uh, what system was that on? Was that on the Mega Drive, was it? Um. Yeah, it has a beautiful soundtrack. Yeah, Dizzy is good as well. Can't go wrong with Dizzy. Uh, right, so we have to... We've got a bowl. It doesn't really do anything, though. I'm sure it's got a purpose at some point. Never mind. We'll keep going. Enemies do not respawn. That's a good thing. So there. Mega Drive, yeah, take a look. I will, I will do. I'll write it down my... I, I, it's one of those games. I probably have seen it at some point. I just can't remember it. Tuxton. Hello to Stephen State Good. Good to see you. Hello, got you boy. How you been? <laughs> How you doing? This is called Jungle Joe. Came out this year. Now you can also kill the spider. She was a spider. There you go, good pal. We'll have to pick up this game. Looks good. There you go. Do a bit for the craters. How's life treating you, Stephen Saitgo? Good to see you. So, Scott, I want to talk to you now. So, with a symbol like that, you're, you're of course, being a big Commodore fan. Have you got a favourite game, a favourite genre, a favourite system, or top three, anything like that? Cannot go wrong with a Commodore. Right, do one more. It's Jungle 1.4. Uh, did you guys ever... No, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't. Um, so, I don't know a lot about who won and what they won. Right. So it's, you hold fire and press down to build a platform underneath you. Jamie, that question's been on there for so long. Um, to f build it up, you hold fire and press up. Use your axe or baton, whatever it is, fire and forwards. Your Jamie, where is that question? To there. Uh, you build loads as a shrub in Alkriser. Did you guys watch the Game Awards? That, that show was quite weird. Weird in what way? Right, we've got to use the boulders for a different reason this time. We've got to push them over the spikes. It's another game that has spikes. Uh, but we're getting very low on the bowl, uh, building bricks. So, push that one. Like that. Go... To there. Push that one. Like that. That's fine. Um, I would love to own a Vectrix, but they get very expensive. I have seen them and never owned one, never played one. So, we go down there. Oh yeah, I don't know how much they are. No idea. Well, no. Uh, which segments the Stargate actor who voiced Kratos in God of War, Radovac, made an everlasting speech. He quite, looks quite drunk as hell, didn't he? I've not played it, but apparently I've heard a lot about it. Mr. Raw has finished it. And yes, he's been saying it looks very, 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 very good on the PlayStation 4. Not, but he hasn't got, he hasn't played PlayStation 5 version, I don't think. I think he's probably in the land of Z's. Um, right, down. That will block the snake, that's fine. Block five, that's fine. So there, have we got enough to get this job done? I don't think we have. Ooh, by the skin of your teeth, mate. There you go. No boom box remain. There's five. Oh, nine, sorry. Um, SGI or the movie. I haven't seen Stargate for absolute years, but that was also rented out on Blockbuster Nights. Don't have it though. I haven't seen it for years. Um, but where's that gonna go? They don't have to do it, but I'm gonna do it. Drop through there. Pick up that. Pick up that. So there. There. So there. There. It'd be so much easier if the cat could jump. So there. Go up there. Um. Look, look. 
Right, also, I think if you roll that over the sticks, that also removes them. So don't be crushing your sticks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes, I've seen it, not playing it, because I don't have the system. I would love to get a PlayStation 4 one day. Well, I've got a bit of saving. There's so many things I want to get, though. It's having a Wonga. But, it's on my list. Woohoo! There we go! Not quite as extreme as Indiana Jones, but there we go. Going well. One more, and that will finish the stage. Um, but yes, it does look very good. The graphics look amazing. But it's not how Shadow of the Beast should be. All this blood and violence and cutting people's heads off and stuff. But it does look very good. It's like nothing away from the way it looks. It's just, I remember Shadow of the Beast by that. And that only. And the occasional kick as well. But yeah, it's not, it's not quite like that anymore. But of course, the PlayStation 4 version does also have the Amiga game built in. Which answers the question earlier on today about a hidden game. Which is fantastic. Get a place in five in a few years and get and get cheaper. I like your style. Good, 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 good there. I did like that. Uh, right, music stopped, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Right, what we, right we're going to play some Denaris after this. Let's get through this last one and we'll move on. So, first things first, get the boulder up to there. Climb over it. Push it real good. Pick up that. Climb up there, pick up that, pick up there, pick up that, and push that. But not yet. We're not ready yet. Okay. <laughs> to there. Up. To there. Oh! Messed that up now, haven't I? Pushed that one space too far. Alright, oh, ain't going anywhere. Ain't going anywhere. That was one bad mistake. Never mind. Right, got it. I haven't got it. Uh, Al Pacino made a great guest appearance to give a price to Christopher Judd, but during the whole long speech... Was that the... I did see a, a, a video the other day. They was um, interviewing Michael J. Fox. Was that that venue, was it? What was that? Thank you very much for the subscription. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Push that. Do it right this time. Thank you for the subscription. I don't even know how old he is now. I have to admit, I don't have many films with him in. I think the only film I've got with him in is um, Dick Tracy. That's it, I think. It's the only one. I don't have heat. I used to. I don't have it anymore. Right. Up to there. Up to there. Push. That's wrong again, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that's not moving anywhere. Right, last go. I have seen it. Yes, I have seen it. I don't have it. Though. Oh, it's game over anyway. Yes, I've seen it. I don't have it. I used to. Don't have it anymore. Right, there we go. Go down to some Denaris. And that is it. I think I played them all, didn't I? Yes. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah, I do like it. I sold that when I was in Ipswich. Unfortunately, there was a bit of time where I needed money. And I sold quite a lot of my DVDs. But you don't get a lot for them, though. That's the thing. You don't get a lot for them. Uh, hello to Lord Everill. Good to see you. Uh, have Scarface and Carlito's Way. I don't have Scarface. No. Say hello to my little friend. I don't have that. <laughs> Dead. Yeah, basically. Did I kill myself or did I run out of bricks? That can be death in that game. Uh, the recruit is good as well. Any chance of a... I can try. I can try. I'll give it a try. Might be a bit rusty, but I'll give it a try. Sean P. One more game to play. What time is it? Oh, why are you doing that again? Uh, you must have Donny... <laughs> We're doing this again. Every time we have this conversation, you keep naming ones I don't have. No, I don't have that. Or Donny Darko either. Uh, get in there, Rushy James. Get in there, buddy. Yes, one step closer. Uh, Devil's Advocate, have seen it, don't have it though. <laughs> we do it again, we do it again. I do have a large collection, I just don't have the ones you keep naming. Crazy, isn't it? Um, the Recruit is, all, is quite underrated for some reason. I think I've seen it. 
Is that also a very long film? So what are you doing this weekend, uh, Gumjo? Any plans? Probably watching football, I expect, aren't you? Why are you doing this to me? It's flashing at me. It has its moments, but it is a little bit temperamental. It's doing it now. Have I got oh, any more questions? Have I said them all? I think I've said all the questions now. I've said that one. 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 Any questions? Go for it. I've run out of questions now. <laughs> No, it's had enough. It's not working now. Come on, come on. It's doing so well. I don't think it's long. CIA, that might jog your memory of it. Probably. Yeah, sometimes I need to refresh your brain box upstairs. Who will win the World Cup? Well, good question. Uh, I don't know. I think probably Brazil are probably the favourites, aren't they? Uh, best retro game which supports three or more players. Uh, well, I have to admit, back in the day, I, it was very rare I played any game with more than two players. But yeah, like I say, me and brother didn't play many two players. But it's mostly what uh, two players mostly. Um, what was the last game I played as three players? I don't think I have. Played online, of course. Not retro games though. There we go. Good boy. Run. We'll run with that. Pardon me. Worms. Um, not played that as two player. No. Oh, but somewhere else. Are they really? See, that's, that proves how much I'm not paying attention. Dino Blaster. Yes, I have played that, of course, on Amiga Live. Yes, I have. Oh, well. Well, England's... Well, they've got to get past France first. That's not going to be an easy task. Oh, really? I don't know. I don't know, it could be their year, but yes, France, as I proved in my last video, was proving to be quite a difficult task. Yes, I suppose, yes, I have. More of a turn based though, isn't it? But yes, that's true. Making me look bad now, aren't you? <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, what was your other questions? Um, what games are people treating themselves to for Christmas? Well, I've just bought myself uh, Muddy Racers. Which is brand new on the C C uh, CG4. Uh, but I might treat myself to one more thing. Maybe. We'll see. Right. Denarvis. Using an original C64. Favourite cup of tea? Any. I like them all. Any tea will do. I love tea. Um, question. I always typed in load and then was prompted to press play. I can't see it. Uh, on tape. Did adding the 8 and the 1 do anything different? Well, if you're going to press, if you're just going to, if you're just going to type load, it will say press play on tape. But yes, if you, we, we've got a lot of these, uh, copy ones, which again, you might have seen in one of my, uh, maybe videos, but yes, the, the the star we use we use the um, we use number four. You press shift and press four, and that gives you a different icon. It was like a dollar, isn't it? Or yeah, we used to use that. So yeah, it was L capital O capital three capital three three symbol four symbol three symbol comma eight. That's what you did. Then you select list, and that brings up your list. But yes, if you're doing any other ones, original hardwares, original games, and yes, it's the load. Two, star, two, comma, eight, comma, one. Yes. But if you put anything else other than that, you, you can put a or another comma at the end, and that will, will allow. But anything lower than that, it won't play, I don't think. It'll come over there, it'll start flashing at you. The TV's going to turn itself again, which you can't see. But yeah, you've got to put it, you've got it right. Exactly, just like that. Um, but yeah, I would show you, but of course, my disk drives won't work like this. Not plugged in. Right, Unlimited Lives. Nope. Nope. Denaris. There you go. I've never played a Atari Genoa, so that's an easy one to answer. CD32 for me. And how's Josh Torsen? Good to see you. Eight is the device number. And of course, Josh knows his CD4 very well. 
Death Egg Sonic 2, much of James. Doesn't the final boss in the Chaos Engine take an egg from from at some stage? That was hella hard. I have finished it. I'm trying to remember what you, what, what what that was. The long time since I last finished it, but I have definitely finished it. I mean, the last level was filled up with robots, isn't it? Sega for you, yeah? Never had any of them. Sega Nintendo just released gimmicks. See, I, I've, got, I've probably got more memories with Sega than I have Nintendo, but... Yeah, quite a lot of my friends did have Nintendos as well. So yes, it was, it was a little mixed bag, really. Right, so this has got teamwork. Never tried that. But anyway, go to F1. Good shoe, good, isn't it? Insert this two, like that. You're more of a Nintendo man, yeah? Sega for Andrew Dubois, Sega for Grey. Question, are you fed up with being asked questions? No. Keep going, buddy, keep going. <laughs> Makes my job so much easier. Um, thank you guys, always wanted to know this. Bonzo Master. Uh, see you all in Denmark. Um... Xmas present I got, Jim Power for PlayStation 4, I saw it. That looks really, really cool, doesn't it? Any update with your Turrican box sets? We've waited a long time for that. Right, let's see how we do. And I have finished it, but yeah, let's see how we do today. <clears throat> and of course, it's very, very R type, this one. Very much so. But yes, originally it was called Catechus, but it had to change its name. It's like a Greek origin or something, I remember rightly. I don't know what hit me there. I do get the occasional sprite flicker and collision detection. And yeah, the music is sensational. It's amazing what the CG4 was capable of doing. Um, do you have any questions for us? I've said them all. <laughs> I had about six, I think. Trying to remember what weapons do what. Right. Now the bosses in this game got to shoot at specific points, and it's very minimal. With the right weapon, it's a clean. Uh, breast, breast is breast is best. Um. Try Rintons, T. Jamie. Not very nice. Question: What does F two, F four, and F six do in this game? <laughs> F one is player one. F two is player two. F three is team, which I've never done. I think. Which other way round? F seven. I can't remember. I can't remember what it did. I'm right, looking at a minute. <coughs> I mean, yes, depending on what weapon you've got, if you've got a laser, then yes, it'll go through an enemy like a knife with butter, which will make mint meat of most bosses. But anything else, yes, it's going to take a little bit more additional firepower, but quite a lot of these bosses, they sort of stick to one specific pattern. Now, again, you're going to get a few glitches along the way. But they're not all simple like that. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, with the right weapons, yeah, it's okay. But their bullets are quite fast. They can also get shield, but I think they're limited in this game. But in Forza, the weapons are very generous. Also, you do get that force field, which does last quite some time. It will stay there until you take damage. But I'm pretty sure this one wears off. But of course, it tells you on the bottom um, what, we've got, uh, what we've currently got in our possession. Similar to um, um, what's um come back to me a little bit. Darius. And of course you have the beam as well. Boo boo pow! Hammers is small, really really, I love it when they do that. Yeah, Jasper will sometimes sleep behind the screen screen. I can hear him. No, this is not R-Type. This is Daenerys. 
Well, technically, it's Catechus, but it's our type, and also, well, it's not our type at all, Jamie, but it's it's pretty, it's Denarius. But yes, it's very, very, very much like our type. And yes, I have got many, many versions of our type. I have played many, many versions, finished many, many of them. But yes, this is fantastic. But our type is the ultimate. <coughs> 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 Right, the music will kick in eventually. <coughs> Love the art design, <coughs> level design as well. A bit of let's come to you. Can't go wrong with it. Yeah, man for Trent's. But yes, I think Tarakum was on the season 4 first, wasn't it? It is. Um, is there an F? <coughs> Probably not. <coughs> um, water, yes. Well, I don't have water, but I need to drink something, yes. Take it easy, Lawn of Vinity. Have a great weekend, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. D type, uh, there is quite a few spin offs, isn't there? Oh, poo! But yes, I have mentioned a few in the past. Was it D type? It was E type, wasn't there? Uh, there was also another one which I was very, very disappointed with, which was one of those compilations in C32. Oh, it's difficult around no weapons. Yes, E type. That's... Yeah, there's one that. It's, it's more of a. Oh my lord, there's more. What was it? There, there's one that's pretty much like Asteroids. And I saw it, and I was just absolutely excited. I thought, I can't wait to play this game. And I played it, and I, there you go, teamwork. Um, and I was so disappointed with it. My, I, yeah, I really was disappointed. I was disappointed about a tent as well. Um. It was difficult for anyone to release a game in the genre without being compared to our type, whether it came before or after. True. Yeah. But yes, of course, the C G four Catechus, the C G four Denaris was different in the C G four than it was in the Amiga. Two completely different games. Which wasn't a bad thing. Because you're getting sort of you're getting more games, aren't you? Mm. But I think I think more. I think most people would prefer the C4 version to the Mega version of the Nars Canadis. Um. Yeah, another tough question. It was for you, yes. Um. What should be there? Let's have a look at this house. Right, F7 pauses. F6 is teamwork. Uh, fire resumes, F1 is one player, F3 is two players. Yeah, pauses the game. F7 pauses the game. Somewhere around here there's a glitch. Which is killing me. I'm gonna go through that area. And also, it's not called a force, it's called a satellite. A lot of them were called satellites back in the day. With bits. Or domes. That's pretty much it, isn't it? I think the waves, the, the weapons, are always different every single time. I don't think it's the same every single time. Yes, it's in-game music. It should be. I'm listening to it now. I haven't muted it, have I? Can you hear it? Is that right? Right, shield. So yeah, with this, it won't die quite so quickly. It's got to be quick though, because it will be moving closer and closer and more closer. See, so you don't have the right weapon, done for. 
Uh, mine is Dan Malone. Question, favourite retro game artist? Me, also Swedish, no in-game music. The video version of Keller Kiss is too silent. Yes, you have no... Oh, wait, see. No in-game music for the Mega version. Exactly. Exactly. I think he was asking if the overlaid music... Yes, that, I'm with you now. I'm going back in time a little bit. I'm reading the wrong direct order. Um, yes, correct. Correct. Awesome game, but way too hard. Well, I can do better than that. A lot better than that. Um, Alien Neoplasma. Don't know that one either. That was another one that slipped me by. Right, okay. Oh, I can't see my watch at the time. I've got 11. I'm at 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Favorite game artist? Um, <laughs> well, it's going to have to be either Chris Hellsbeck or, um, there's so many, isn't there? Um, where's the Brimble? David Whittaker. Uh, I think we're going to go with uh, Hellsbeck, I think. First time I heard the, I mean the first, the first song I heard of Hellsbeck was Tarkin 2, and what a place to start, what, what one to start off on, and that game just absolutely blew me away, I was absolutely blown away by that, amazing. A week later, I went back to town with my dad and bought Tarkin 1, for my own money. When the weapons are weak, use the beam, there you go. Prove it. I'll try. A, uh, pardon me, as Brimble, but they are all good. Amazingly, though, I don't get copyrights from As the Brimble. It only seems to be. Oh, artists. Sorry. Oh, right. You mean. Oh, right. I'm with you now. Oh, okay. Uh, you mean like creators, yeah? Well, I love IRM. I love Team 17. I love Factor 5. Lucas Arts. Yes, I like those. Um. <laughs> Oh yes, I love IBM, yeah, of course. But what is my favourite? No, really. Psychosis, I love Psychosis, of course. Hmm. I don't know, actually. It's hard to pick a favourite, really. I mean, there's so many games that I like that others don't. So many. I love the, the artist that did all the psychosis. Apparently, uh, he actually used to live here in my town a long time ago. Um, you yeah, can't go wrong with the artist. I mean, the ocean. Um, is it Frey? Amazing artist, but unfortunately he passed away not too long ago. Um, I'm not great with names when it comes to the artist side of it, in terms of the drawing and artwork of the games. I'm not great with names. But yes, the. Pixel artists for the side notices, of course. Right, hang on a minute. Right. But a lot of the games back in the day, it wasn't the game itself, it was the artwork that drew me to it. And like Shadow of the Beast, I knew nothing about Shadow of the Beast, it was the artwork. And I've got it up there, it's, it's still amazing to look at, and uh, yeah. Knew nothing about Shadow of the Beast, it was just the artwork. But the same with a lot of these um, games on the CG4, the artwork is sensational. And if the game was good, that's a bonus. There you go. Uh, but yes, the Big B B Brothers also, fantastic. Right, uh, that is the point, I believe. Or the twins? Yeah, I have s not met them personally, but I have seen them. Saw them at uh, an expo, which was London in 2018. Should have got it all, really. But I 
Look at this game as well. They all return. And Russia James, so glad you got your ocean shirt finally sorted out. That's crazy. It was like three attempts. I want you over. Knew them, really? That's cool. Factor 5, Ocean, Delphin Software, Psygnosis, Bit of Brothers, and Team 17. I love all those. I don't have many by Delphin Software though. Uh, um, quite recently, I put this on a box version of Flashback. Uh, not the original version, it's actually a kit box, which is much easier to get in nicer condition than it is in the original, but of course, I know that Mr. Andrew Blind has got that as well. And yes, I love the art. Uh, Codemasters artwork, also fantastic. Really is good. They really are great artwork. Need more posters on the wall. Should have got the other twins to sign in. Hey, basically, yeah. Imagine, they probably have done that quite a lot of times. Budget, yeah. Playing perfect. There we go. There should be a Disney chocolate Easter egg. It should be, shouldn't they? But yes, Flashback was published by US Gold, wasn't it? Yeah, what a game. However, I think I played it on the SNES first. But then I think also, yes, we did. We had a demo of it on the Amiga as well. But I think the SNES was first. The Amiga followed not long afterwards. <laughs> You're talking about YouTubers, eh? Favourite YouTuber. Thank you. Very, very kind, Heath. You have to admit, I'm struggling to read these comments, though. It's very easy to die, this one. You don't get shields like you do in Enforcer. Your shield? Yeah. Of course, I used to have a box version of um, Jim Power, it went a long time ago, unfortunately. Stolen. See, this one doesn't move around quite a lot. They're not all simple. Oh! This game is incredible. Let me give Satellite is a bit of a handful, but in some ways the force at all time, quite honestly. Uh, yes, I'll be streaming on the 23rd. I'm hoping there'll be some new... new well, new Christmas games, hopefully. Uh, 23rd, yes. 23rd. Yes, we're on earlies and we don't finish at 2. Finish at 12. But yes, we're going to the pub afterwards, have a few drinks, and I'll come home and get ready for the stream. And that's it, 10 days off. Not back into the 3rd, which is not too shabby. Right, where's it appear from? Right, so it appear from the left, I know that. It's happened before. Yeah, they got me before. It took me completely not by surprise. You got one day off at all? Just a day? Mate, you deserve so much more than that. Right, we'll take one stage at a time. Woohoo! 
There's a biscuit up there for biscuit. Um, Switch House, now he's a computer game developer, always promises a lot and delivers quite a bit, but not the lot. I've missed so many comments here. Uh, that does sound like the modern thing to do. Lost your weave defense, Jim Power had an excellent graphic style. Yeah, so much parallax in that game. Let me sue the big Drew from you. I played the demo of those arcades they had, great time. Love art oh, to Lollipop. Uh, Lollipop was a good game, wasn't it? One day off, mate. Surely you need more than that. You deserve so much more than that. But then I haven't. Well, the ministry hasn't quite gone according to plan in terms of holiday. Because, of course, moving jobs. I had quite a lot of unused holiday for my previous job, but of course I got paid that rather than use that. So this year I'm not going to get nowhere near as much as my entitled holiday. Oh, Lord. So yeah, I haven't had many days off this year. I've only had about six. So in that department, it's a ten day break, I desperately need it. But of course, getting that job is definitely the highlight of my year, away from the channel of course. That's a change I desperately need to do. Delta Force? Rings a bell? Am I dead? No. Two lives. Uh, my favourite Christmas off in years. Started from today. Sounds good, buddy. Absolutely Sean. He can't seem to do a video without him getting a mention. Um, I am at home between Xmas and New Year. Delta Force? I got zero days off. 2023, you should take some holiday, Jamie. Yes, I keep having this conversation with people at work. Um, everyone else went away, had a holiday. I did not have a holiday. And they keep saying, Jamie, you need to book some places. I said, I know you need to book some places. I need money to do it. I need a passport first. I'm not going to get very far like this. I need some weekends away. He goes to some events. I didn't get out nowhere near as much as I planned this year. I had plans, I had ideas. You are indeed. I hope you enjoy your time. Oh, I've got shield, at least that's a bonus. What a laser for a situation like this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it does. It doesn't last this when it wears off. So that's where Enforcer has to have a hand. Well, last year, I think I had, well, I, I put out three day out vlogs. This year, I only put out one. I can't remember what this one is. I have no idea. Where's this witness? There. Right, I think the beam is the way to go there. Yes, music sound effects together at the same time. I was doing karaoke yesterday, Jim. What was you singing? What was you singing there? Great game, great player, great moves. Thank you, buddy. Uh, that passport issue can't keep saying that all the time. Not that had hard to get a passport. It's expensive, though. It's about 80 quid, isn't it? I've got 10 days off. Well, expect increased festive content. I'll try. I will try. I have got a, a vlog, which is very, very nearly finished. But unfortunately, I'm still waiting for the final piece of the video to be completed. There's things I'm waiting for. Once that happens, then we'll be all right. Right, I'm going to do a quick go of Last Ninja, which was requested. And I'm going to call it a day because that's going to be midnight. Yes, the power of the... Eight. It's something like that. Yeah, let me just check before I embarrass myself. It is expensive, I know that. But of course, I'm going to get one. I will get one. Um, how much is a passport? Uh, how much? Right there, right there. Nope, doing this again. How much is 
uh, a passport. In the UK. Yes, it's a start. Right, okay. Uh, apply online. Um, adult, 16 and over, £75.50. Apply by paper form, £85. Uh, adult, 16 and over, 50 page, frequency traveller passport, £85.50. Apply by paper form, £95. A child under 16, which of course doesn't contain me, £49 or £58.50. £50. So it's quite expensive. Of course, you know, it lasts quite some time. It's about 10 years, isn't it? There we go. Jasper's here. Come here. Here he is. Here he is. There you go. Camera shy, aren't you? There you go. He, he exists. See, on the desk. Yes, he's right on the desk. And you'll see him a lot more. But here, no. Um, okay. Last game. And I definitely do have it. I have all three of them. But I played the first one the most. Uh, now, I did put it, I put it in the or last. Let's try last. Uh, last there, which I believe should have the trilogy. Hopefully. Um, yes, yeah, so they're all saying hello to you. How long has it passed last? About 10 years? Should I ask, those, uh, should I ask, ask that as well? Uh, how long is the wait for passport? No, how long is it currently talking? Mm. Mm. Right, how long? It's loading. Oh, poop! That's one button! About a year, I think. I think it's about a year. Just about a year, Joe. Ten years, sorry. Ten years. So I'm getting tired. Ten years. <laughs> but yes, I will get one. I will get one. Yes, he's my little buddy, yes. But yeah, he's camera shy at the moment of time. Um, oh, I see, correct. Um, hold on a minute, let's have a look. Um, hang on. Let's have a butchers, let's have a butchers. Um... You are correct, that's man. You are correct. What is that? Right, let's have a look. Let's see if we can salvage this part of the string. Okay, hold on. I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh. Yeah, I forgot about that. Make it hobbies. He would if Jamie made a best of Jasper video. Yes, unfortunately, he doesn't make many appearances. However, he does feature in my next vlog quite a lot, actually. So that's a good thing. Um, right, hopefully this won't take too long. Um, yes, Mrs. Robert Gray. Yeah, cheers to that. Forgot all about that. So cute, so Jasper. Yeah, where are you, Jasper? Come here. I guess he spends so much time behind this green screen, and yes, he just he, he has his moments. But this time of year, I do see him a lot more. In the summer, I hardly see him. He's always outside all the time. But yeah, there he goes again. Jasper, come here. There we go. He's a bit playful mood at the moment of time. <laughs> Invisible pussy cat. He has his moments of, of he's like a, a kitten, basically. Jasper, what are you doing, man? Jasper. Jasper. You're not gonna do it now, are you? Jasper. Come on, what everyone's watching you. The pressure's on here. Come on, just, just, no, not playing ball, was he? Jasper, this, this way, just go that way, just a little bit, for me. I'll, I'll, will you do it for a, a treat? 
Give me it. No, you let me down. <coughs> yeah, the ninja. The last ninja. The Jasper ninja. There we go, he's there. They're all saying hello to you. Um... <laughs> Sword of Sodom, I have a box version of that, yes. Question, watch me a game, it has the biggest player sprite. Sword of Sodom. First time I saw that back in the day, yes, it had the largest sprite I've ever seen. Uh, I have got a box version of it, though. And I can see it from here. Right. Oh, my lord. Yes, there, fantastic. Uh, yeah, played that back in the day, and yes, I mean, we, there's also this creature that you can actually get onto. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, though, but again, it's gigantic, but we've got that. Yes, yeah, on the back of there, actually. You can see. Yeah, that thing. But yeah, that takes up the entire screen. This is going to work. Five minutes. Well, I've got Last Ninja 2 here as well. Yeah. Here's some music, don't we? Music? Same one again, isn't it? Um. Yeah. Yeah, this one. Actually got the original price tag on there. Bought it from... Well, I didn't buy it originally. But it came from a place called Dowling Computers. The computer specialist for £2.99. Uh, Sizzler CU Screen Star. But yes, the first one I played was on the C32, which was into 3. This is going to work. Well, it probably is working. I don't know how long it's going to take. But yeah. One thing, another game I would like to get also is the Ninja Remix on the Amiga. I'd like to get that as well. Two, I didn't play two nowhere near as much. But of course, different... Musician, this one wasn't it? But yeah, I need to finish this one. Also, the second one doesn't have quite so many of these different jumps. Of course, this one you have the difficult jumping over the mud and the water. Uh, don't defend Yoshi. I love Yoshi. Yoshi's cool. It's like a hybrid bird and dragon. Yes, on the on the on the game. Yes. Uh, I watched a video the other day on Charkin. That game really was a Souls like before. So yes, I've seen that. That was. On the Mega Drive, wasn't it? Looks like Eddie from Iron Maiden, I'm on the white right lines here. Yeah, Matt Gray, yes, I probably will be copyrighted for that, if it gets to that point. Yeah, it was based in Leeds. The monster looks like a privileged version of Yoshi. I've got Yoshi up there, I can't show you, he's green. Right, I'm gonna call it a day. Um, maybe at the moment. Working brilliantly. Real hardware. Right, I'm going to call it a day, people. Retro... Favourite retro game which your player is an animal. Favourite one? Ooh. Um, okay. Think, 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 think. An animal. Um... Yeah, I'm going to call it a night in a minute as well, buddy. Take it easy, have a great weekend. Just fine. Um... I mean, Sleepwalk is fantastic. Oh, it takes me seriously. I mean, what I love, um... Fire and Ice. Fire and Ice. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. On a quarter day. Fire and Ice. Yes, that's up there. The Cool Coyote. Lemmings. I suppose in a way. Jasper's got too much energy. Can you hear him? Can you hear this Jasper cat running around? I'll add it to a future stream. <laughs> Fire Nice is fantastic. Oh, Brian the Lion, we're in the shorts roaring. Yes, I might need to get myself a box version of that. I also might make a sprite of him as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to call it a day, people. It's getting a little, 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 little late now, isn't it? It's not loading. Wait, it's loading. I just didn't realize it's going to take this long. Anyway, I've got to get up in the morning, I've got to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. But anyway, great to see you guys. Thank you very much for the donations. Uh, thank you to Lord Evil for the subscription. Thank you, Alkenstein, for the stream deck. 
Uh, really, really kind of you. Thank you, Max Levin. There's some music playing there. Uh, Max Levin, thank you very much. And also, Sean P, thank you very much once again. That's very really kind of you. Thank you, subscriptions. And yes, good luck to England. And yes, may the best team win. Let's see what happens. Thanks for stream and answering so many questions. Yeah, guys, let me know if any more questions. Like I say, it's very difficult to come up with new ones, but I'm trying one's best. But yeah, it's difficult at times. But yes, where it loads, I'm not sure, but I'm going to get some night nights. Take it easy, cue the outro. And again, thank you very much for watching my videos. Thank you for continuing with support. And good luck, France. Never shame. Yes, good luck. Yes, you take it easy. Take it easy. Ciao, bye. Outro. Mike, still here, buddy. Take care. <laughs>